<laughs> it's now a bad time to swear. Yes. <laughs> Five, four, four nine, three, twelve, two, one, eighteen. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> if you go up to the loft today, you're sure of a big surprise. If you so go up to the loft today, trouble, you'll never believe your eyes. For, for every train there ever was has gathered there together because today's the day that Jenny does the Monday Club. Yay! Big hello to you all. Big hello. We've got Clive Cobalt, Josh's Railway Adventures, Flymo Chairman, One Nigel Cole, uh, Ian Burton, Ruben Ashwell, Headshunt, Peter Jackson Cheadle Heath. Ham Shackleton, Richard Swiderski, DJK666, James Petz, we do approve, and uh, uh, Flymo Chairman 1, Southern Train Girl, Exarkin42, Tom L, uh, Patrick Ling, Ivor Junction, Cameron Patterson, uh, Hot Dog Pilot 63, Model Railway Noob, Vobert Becking, Nigel Cole, Mark, Malcolm Moore, Warbler Productions, Al's Yard, who says, since I have nothing to do, I think I'll just stick around here for now. Also, happy Halloween. Simon Train's Model Railway Showcase. Uh, Stefan Svensson. Robin Silver. Uh, Tim's Model Railway Different Videos. Not with Da. Uh, Tim Davis. Uh, David, it's my Model Railway. He says, ah, a ghoulie is behind you, Jenny. Yes, we've got um, the reincarnation of William Loud Senior has dropped by. To say that uh, if you're not if you've not already ordered one of his pal brick uh, wagons, then he'll have a brick through your window and it'll have a flyer on for Billy's replacement windows. I have connections. You can't imagine, can they? You have lots of connections, uh, do you? More uh, connections yeah. than uh, than the London Underground. Absolutely. More connections. Are <laughs> you no. sure to stick it? Uh, no. Jenny, I don't want to scare you, but. <laughs> so big hello to do everybody. we have a sponsor we do have a sponsor so i just like to tell you all about rails of sheffield your one-stop shop for buying and selling secondhand uh from single items through to full collections no collection is too big no collection is too small they will not cherry pick the best items they will buy anything and everything and uh, will either pay you in cash or give you store credit against something new whatever you choose but uh, sell to the name that you trust with rails of sheffield you'll find a link to them in the description box down below there you are marvelous well, you're a good show, aren't yes I? and also Very rails much. of sheffield is where you can find the wm loud and sons uh, pal brick wagons and uh, these are being produced exclusively for the Monday Club by KR Models. And we're currently looking at an expectation that they will be being delivered in uh, probably around January. So uh, do get those wagons ordered. They are proving very, very popular. And William Loud Senior here. I've got deliveries need making, you see. Yeah, I've got deliveries them, need making. All them bricks through uh, windows. Bricks through windows, windows yeah, through bricks. They're not, they're not gonna, they're not gonna yeah. smash themselves. <laughs> so, um, you're right there. You, you pull in funny wanna, faces. Before I head off to edit your videos, because Jenny really, really <laughs> does need me to edit videos, and she's been prodding me with a stick. Oh, oh yeah, in that case, I've got video footage. Would on you there. like a drink, a beverage of choice? A beverage of choice. Ooh, what would man. you like? I'll have a vermouth. A vermouth. <laughs> <laughs> is this the William Loudon Sons uh, <laughs> beverage of choice? No, that would be Dirty Cider. <laughs> dirty Cider. Dirty Cider. Dirt okay, air. get me Dirty Cider. Cider with coal in it. And I'll have one as well. You want so, some ciders. Cider. So we've got uh, Sue at Putnam Junction, Valley's and before, 56XX. Uh, uh, bef Women before the Cupboard Railway. Monkey goes, uh, we'd just like to say one thing. Because I was looking at the chat and someone said they were late. And I must Tim say... Tim Davis. <laughs> A Monday club horror is never late, Frodo Baggins. Nor are they hurry. He arrives precisely when he means to. Thanks, Thanks Gandalf. Gandalf. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes. So, it's Halloween. So, have you eaten your own body weight in Sweeties? If not, then why not? 
Uh, we've got Hayward Junction. Sarah Davis says, any update on the Gronk? Not a cult t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> we really should do that. Yeah, yeah. Um, Eric Christiansen wow. says, warm greetings from the US. Joe Smith. Says, uh, evening all. I was at the Great British Model Show on Saturday. Returned back to Ireland with a stock of items. And COVID. Oh, oh. no. So sorry to hear. But um, so it, was, um, it was a big, big show. And uh, uh, unfortunately, I, I had a weekend off. Um, <laughs> not that I had nothing to do. Been busy all weekend, but wasn't able to make it to the show. But uh, I do gather that it is a very good show. I've never actually done the um, mm. um, the, the show at Gaydon. Is that one that William Loud has frequented? No, he hasn't. Mm. William Loud spends most of his time in the seventh circle of hell, paying for his crimes against humanity. Ah, oh, right. Not a lot of time for other railway shows, unfortunately. Um, Peter Jackson Cheadle Heath asks, has the merch store been fixed yet? I don't know. Try buying something and see what happens. <laughs> um... <laughs> Mark Wilson says, no, 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 you can't have Gandalf before 7.05. Exarchon42 says, I believe I see a Deltic, a rebuilt Merchant Navy, and a Mana class. It's not a Mana class, it's a 28XX. Um, on, so um, it's a, a big 280 Heavy Freight logo. Um, I don't know why I went a bit posh there. Um, so, uh, if I sound a bit spaced out, it's, it's because, because... you've been to space. Yes. Uh, actually, no, I've been to Chelsea today on a film shoot. How was she? Um, <laughs> yeah, she was, um, she was okay. Um, but I've been up since midnight, so, as you can imagine, uh, a little bit of space. Uh, um, right now, free one, just yeah, Exarchon 42, yeah, the GWR 2800 class. It's a lovely model, actually, and it's one which was a glaring omission in my collection until comparatively recently, and I bought one second-hand uh, from Rails at one of the open days. And it's one of those things that I keep trying to plug the gaps in my collection. But William Loud. Yes, 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 my dear. Yes. So are you into model railways as well? I'm into model railways as well. Are as you? Well as wells and chimneys. Mm. So, um... One side Mm. Tell us about your model railway. My model railway. Mm. What was that stuff about model railway? What's your most recent edition? God, it's ah. like getting blood out of a stone <laughs> or, I, uh, or trying to get a brick uh, through well, a window. I was all, all about the modern image stuff and I very recently made a purchase. I've, I've done something I said I wouldn't do it again. I've built, I've, I've bought mm -hmm. a steam locomotive again. Yeah, yeah, you did. I bought another steam locomotive. I bought a, a Roco S160. It is yeah. HO scale. You got a Roco Loco. I've got a Roco Roco, absolutely. A Roco Loco. It's a little bit smaller, but nevertheless perfectly formed. <laughs> yeah. But that's it, the main thing. With sound. With, so with sound. The sound is absolutely fantastic. In fact, it's yeah, one yeah, of yeah. the best sound, or, uh, sound files I've ever heard. It's very detailed. It's, it's fantastic. Yeah. Headshunt says, drinking alcohol on a school night. Shocking. <laughs> it's not a school night for me. I actually all get me. a day off tomorrow. Yeah, same here. I've I've worked through. I've been away all weekend um, and today as well. I didn't get back from Chelsea until about four four o'clock, something like that. So um, yeah, so I'm having a well deserved lie in tomorrow. Has William Lau brought? Why would I buy one of my own wagons? Well, you. Bought... I've got loads at the yard. Well, no, you got three, according to the backstory. <laughs> Stay on the script. Oh, dear. You That's can't... just the three you know about. All oh, right, yeah, no, no. Officially, there's <laughs> three. There's three Palpricks. But uh, KR models are only producing one of the three. But it's still possible to buy all three Can we and renumber them? renumber them. Yes, oh. because they were all in the same livery. Um, and that's one of the things that you were quite keen on for... Um, um, for merchandising reasons. Merchandising is very important. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. You have to get one's name out there somehow. And yeah. what better way than... And two's name as well, as well. Yeah, yeah. Whose uh, name? Two's name. Who's two's? Well, you said one, I said two. <laughs> number one and number two. But, um, so, how's, how's Billy? Oh, look, Mark says, is, is, is William Loud single? Uh, is, 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 is Sir William of Loud single? Uh, William Sir Loud, Sir Loud is not single. Well, no. How else do you think Billy got here? Absolutely. Billy was um, the result of um, 
shall we say, one heady night after finishing, we put the... Yeah, did you turn it to 11? Absolutely. Absolutely. I turned it to 11, and then mm. 3 for to 10, then for a few seconds, 11 again, and then I had a bit of a rest. Interesting. Uh, Exarchon42 says, my newest addition is a Southern Pacific cab forward from Broadway Limited. I've seen some photos of this. Cab really? forward? Well, it's a steam locomotive, but the cab's at the front. Ooh, that's so it's backwards. The, well, sort of, but they were... <laughs> um, my, I gather they were used in areas where there were a lot of tunnels. So by having the cab forwards, the crew were kept out from the smoke and the oh, they smoke. Smoke. When you think of it mm. that way, it makes sense, doesn't it, of course? So, I am not drinking stout, Eric. I am drinking finest cider. Well, it's a perry. It's it pear. Is. Technically, it is a perry because I'm refined. You'll notice the pinky is out. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. You're so, right, yeah. Right. That's, how, that's how William Loud Sr. Absolutely. drinks his booze. So, um, Hot Dog Pilot 63 says, Hello! And we've also got Alan PVA J Cloth Alan Reynolds. Great to see you in as well. Um, uh, we've got Les Cliff in as well. Says Irish coffee, please. You like your coffee a bit on the Irish side? Go so, tiddly dee, tiddly dee. I'm Irish on my mum's side. Are you? I am, yeah. Well, whereabouts in Ireland? I don't know. You're not asked? I know, but I know his name was Tommy Tarpy. Oh. Seriously, that was my great grandfather's name. Oh. From Ireland, somewhere on the Emerald Oil. I'm oh. not sure if it was a Northern Iron or if it was somewhere else. I'm not sure where it was. But oh. yeah, I am, I am part Irish. Oh. Distantly related. There we uh -huh. are. Oswestry Road, TMD, great to see you, and Andy T741. Paul O'Donovan says, greetings from Ireland. Model Rail November issue, a new Model Rail limited edition by Acura Scale, is class 31 as number 31116 in BR infrastructure livery. <laughs> the name is Rail Celebrity. Um, Mark, Mark wants to know how much to pay Sir William Loud to dance on the stream. How um, much have you got, sunshine? How much do you want to pay yeah. to stop him from dancing? <laughs> Keep going and add some zeros. And don't That's forget, all. everybody, to tickle that like button. Mm. I keep hearing the sound of... You know when you hear things... I can hear are... the sound of nonsense. No, this... the mis... It might be this chair, Jim. Oh, right, that, that would do it. I yeah. am testing this chair's structural yeah. integrity to the max. Ah, yeah, to, uh, to the max. You're to turning the it to, to 11. 11. Yes, yeah, absolutely, yeah. 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 Um, the B2000 Arrow Toys channel says, Hi Jenny and Zoe, for my large scale Toby, I've been building a Henrietta on my 3D printer. She's almost complete. Oh, excellent. That'd be quite nice because um, it's G scale, which equates to... Massive. Um, is it, it's gauge one, basically. Um, Not the old one, isn't it, gauge one? The one that when... Gauge one. Well, yeah. there's, there's like... It's, like that, it? it's bigger than, yeah. than ga uh, O gauge. Because it goes, there's like, there's O gauge, then there's gauge one, then gauge two, Blimey. and then gauge three, and then you get into the realms of like five, five inch, inch gauge and, and narrow um, gauge, and before you know it, you're driving. Oh, yeah, before you know it, you're on broad gauge. <laughs> Stephen Cameron says, Hi, Jenny, Zoe, new chap, new chap. This is William Loud, senior, who's uh, come back from. Um, from the dead. Come back the from the dead. dead. To tell you all about his model wagon. So, William, yes, yes tell yes, us all about the wagon. Did the you Palbert read? Wagons. Did you read the script? I did. You have no script. We don't do scripts here. <laughs> there's no, there is no script. The wagon is of the highest quality. It is. As are my speakers and other audio wares equipment. Yeah, and your bricks. I don't use my brick out of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So um, yeah, yeah, you you um, add many mm. windows through with your bricks. <laughs> it, it wasn't very only windows of Tories. Only the Tories get a window, <laughs> get a window bricking. Yeah, but then then he does all the others as oh, well. I don't just want to, to miss make... any of them. <laughs> you can't have those Tories getting away with their... Anyway, we don't do politics on this fancy, show. Fancy tea. Yeah. Is that you and Zoe? Uh, yeah, it is actually. Oh wow! But from a so long time small, ago. Man. That's from like about 15 years ago. She was ha half the woman she is now. Careful. <laughs> Run, Zoe. Run. Yeah. <laughs> Run, quickly. It, it, don't, it doesn't matter because she was half the woman as well. Oh, well done. Yeah, she was the other half. Uh, Exarchon42 says, I have yet to try anything from KR. I have a GT3 on pre-order. Missed out on the Fell. So the, yeah, the Fell has been a runaway success. Despite mm. the naysayers. Um, have you had, got a Fell here, Jen? I have not because they sold out. <laughs> 
So there's no point in them sending me a production file well, because, because they can't sell any. Yeah, but they don't. Yeah, they're all gone. They're yeah. all sold. Uh, Quite a strange looking loco is the fell. I must admit, it's not something it's, we ever popped up on, on my radar. About, but the thing about the fell is, when it's running, all those little cranks spinning round look do look magic. Yeah, very hypnotic. Is very, the fell the same sort of era as the ten thousand and one? No, much later. Much later than that, the fell. Uh, fell's BR period. Really? I th- thought it was an earlier diesel. Ten thousand and one, sort of. Uh, actually, no, they probably they probably were about about the same mm, time. Mm. Um. James Pett suggests that maybe you're a poltergeist with all the throwing of bricks. Oh, well, this... He always threw bricks. It's not not like he's doing anything different. It's a bit like a mm. tick. It's my version of Tourette's, really. Just throw bricks around. And... Throwing bricks everywhere, eh? Mm. So, um, yeah, see, I, James, I was down your neck of the woods today. At least I assume it's your neck of the woods. I was in Kensington, and then I went down to Chelsea. Um, it's probably going to say... No, I, I live in um, I live in Brighton actually, but um, uh, James Pett's a, a brick tick. Simon Train's model railway showcase very very generously donated <laughs> five pounds on the super chat. Says something strange in Jenny's loft. Who are you going to call? Not me. Everyone off after seeing a ghost. Yeah. Well done. But thank you so so much for that. Um, well, that's why bricks are a fabulous marketing tool. Yes, yes. If anybody wants a brick, mm. then uh, st- I'm all send, happy to deliver them for you. Yeah, send a prepaid. By hand as well. Hand and deliver the bricks. Yeah, yeah. Just protect you. With glass. a custom threat message <laughs> scrawled on the side of them. Um, Cormac Afton says, I hope to make my own Big Bertha instead of getting the KR Models one. Some people really do like to build kits or scratch build. Uh, DJK666 says, I used to live in Brighton. Loads of bricks there. Um, <laughs> and also, there was, um, last time I went to Brighton, there was this one house that was just, they made it very gothic on the outside. It was some kind of nightclub. Oh. And I can't remember what it was actually called, but we all dubbed it the house that goth built. <laughs> um, There's only one place in Brighton I want to visit, and that is the alleyway. The alleyway? The alleyway of Brighton. Now, if you're from Brighton, you, when I say the alleyway in Brighton... I have no idea what you're talking have about. Have you seen Quadrophenia? No. You've not seen Quadrophenia? No. You need to watch Quadrophenia. Okay. Have you heard of The Who, the band The Who? Oh, know? yeah, I do. Okay. So the album Quadrophenia yes, was made yeah. to a film with Phil Daniels. Yeah, yeah I, I... And it I, was I, about the mods and rockers, and they go to Brighton, and Phil Daniels and a young Leslie Ash go to an alleyway where they copulate successfully right. against the wall okay yes and this alleyway has been famous for that and other people have gone to recreate the scene oh. over the years okay and dominic zed our kick line correspondent says jenny today was also kick line day on super rtl they retired the classic series episodes oh that's a shame um james petz does point out that his house is made of bricks this is the house of brick built Yes, yeah. Richard Swiderski said, bet the bricks are flying off the shelves. <laughs> well, they are if you've got a poltergeist in the shop. Yeah, it's terrible. I always used to be, when you got, um, German used to get the junk mail through and they'd always have a prepay envelope. Well, if, if you really, really got hacked off with the people who were sending these things out, like, you know, pre, please rush me my portable walrus cleaning kit, man enough to tackle it. Please any rush me my portable walrus cleaning kit. Yeah, man enough to tackle any water-bound now, mammal. Is that a kit that is portable or for walruses that are portable? Yeah. No, but what you do is you cut out the bit where it says, like, prepay return envelope, and you stick it to a brick, and then you post that to them because they get charged on the weight. Uh, that's brilliant. Yeah, yeah. Um, Michael Arkell says, Jennifer, who do I email to send pictures of my new N-Gage Railway, if you send them to zoe at zoerobinson.com and put Monday Club in the subject title and then that just helps her to be able to find it. And that's Zoe spelled the European way, just Z-O-E. Um, and they should get through. Melchester Model Railway says the Brighton Toy Museum is great too. Some nice model trains down there. Um, we never did find out from... Um, uh, 
James Pets if I was uh, if I was in his neck of the woods or not. I think it, it may have gone off the top. Mark okay. says, if I wanted a brick, I'll buy an Xbox. Oh. And Ruben Ashwell says, I was born in Brighton. <laughs> um, right. <laughs> Peter Miller at Delft Junction says, hi, Jenny. Wow, Zoe looks different. <laughs> yeah. She's let herself go a bit. I did work that well. well. <laughs> Stephen Cameron says, portable walrus cleaning kit, new from JML. <laughs> but wait, there's more. There's always oh, yes. more. If yeah. you order today, you'll get the deluxe orifice cleaning brush. The orifice. The orifice cleaning brush. The or- Oromax. Yeah, <laughs> the Oromax. Reaching all the places you don't find. <laughs> Absolutely. Wardle Road says, any news on the new wagon? Well, William Loud Senior, the ghost thereof, has popped in to the loft today on this Halloween special... To let us know what exactly. Were you reading the script? You didn't send me a script, Jonathan. Yes, I did. Did you? Yes, I did. Really? Yes. Where? <laughs> it's it's on, on the website where you can buy the wagon it and gives the full script. You didn't send me a but script. But they are coming in, um, I've been told, January. So. <laughs> I'm using my ghostly powers to impart the information to Jennifer yes. as a medium. Yes, yes. Um yeah. James Pett says, I did, I did reply above, I'm the other end of London. I'm east, you are west. Ah. Uh-huh. Oh, so when I go over to the Docklands around Canary Wharf and uh, East India Dock, then I would have been actually staying in a hotel not far from where you lived then? Or uh, were you like more other east? Right, Mark says, Jenny, you should commission a company to make Sir William Loud model railway figures. The O scale version and up can have a brick throwing action. <laughs> oh, well, if Model U are at Warley, do you fancy doing that? I don't think they'll have enough plastic, Jen, to be honest with you. No, 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 but do you fancy getting scanned uh, at Warley, well, uh, holding a brick? Oh, uh, like yes. with, with a pipe and brick. Well, I might bring my big pipe because this is my small weekend. Oh, right, yeah, you need a big pipe because when they print it, brick. you need it. You need a bit, brick, uh, bit of heft. Uh, you know. br- oh, yeah. bring a, a good bl- pause, isn't it? Yeah, bring but, a, bl- uh, a breeze block. That's it. Tobacco here, brick there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vote yeah. Labour. You know, <laughs> nah, nah, nah. <laughs> or Tory, whatever. No, no politics. No politics. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jen, is there any other news this week? Any other news? Um, um, Wardle Road says, I have a short video covering the Great Central Railway Open Day, if anyone's interested. Of course, after Always. the stream. And once you've tickled, shared, and subscribed if you hadn't already done so. But news uh, at the moment. Well, Rapido Trains have shared uh, pictures of the livery samples of the N gauge Class 28 Metrovix. And they look really great and do include the What If RTC livery. And I have to say. I'm liking this What If thing now. Yeah, it's the good. RTC good. livery good. on the Class 28 is something that I actually suggested to Hattons and Hellion. When they brought out the Class 28 and 00, um, and it was done as the Hatton's exclusive, they did sort of have a little bit of a half-hearted competition to you know, suggest um, a, a livery. And I suggested RTC, and clearly it never went anywhere. But it's nice to see that Rapido have yeah. picked up the baton, or should we say picked up the brick, <laughs> and uh, and run with it. But you've got to be careful when you run with your bricks. You have got to be careful yeah, when you run yeah. with your bricks. Yeah, if you yeah, drop yeah. it, it's going to smash everywhere. So a big, hello no to, damage, a, a big hello to the Angel of Crew. Great to see you in. Hello, Rachel. And Francis Wadsworth. Um, uh, Francis Wadsworth. Francis. No, it's Wadsworth. Oh, I thought it was Wordsworth. Wordsworth. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Listen, I've not got any eyes, Jennifer. They've got you've beaten got by weld- goats. You've got welding goggles on there, yeah? Um, oh, J. Paul Anderson. We were talking about this before. says, Jen, talk about the Barry Davis yes, controversy. this is it. No, this is the exact thing that I've... I've not seen the video, Jen. Yeah, it got taken down about. quite quickly. And this whole channel's gone as well. Four yeah. Um, but uh, you, you, you've got the gist of what was going on there. So, I, I so, spoke to Mark at Mother Rilla Fantasia. This, so what, this was literally minutes after it happened. And mm. it, essentially, what it boils down to is this chap, Barry Davis, had taken it upon himself to criticise a number of Mother Railwayers, and, but also on a personal level. 
So it was nothing to do with model railways. It was about partly, partly criticizing the them as an individual. Absolutely, is... yeah. So, for example, the way I won't mention people's names, but mm. there was one individual, and he made comment as to their personal lifestyle choices, yeah. and that's completely irrelevant. And it was, it was well, but I think quite venomous. I think it's what well, it's. You know, um, it always annoys me when you get people saying, "Oh, you done that man. Oh, you this shouldn't be allowed. You shouldn't be allowed to have." Well, that, he was that doing that as well. And it's, it's like, you know, at the end of the day, it's supposed to be a hobby, it's supposed to be fun, and it's a broad church. And, you know, uh, Weir Yard's not prototypical. There's a lot of bits on Weir Yard, which um, I personally criticise in my head because I think I could do him better. But that doesn't mean that it's right for other people to go, oh, no, that's no, wrong, no. this is wrong. And no. it's the same when you look at other people's stuff. And it's one of the big things that we've always pushed on this channel is that there's always something good to get out of everybody's modeling. Yeah, you know, we all absolutely. started somewhere. Yeah. And you know, and I guess you're the, you're the same. You know, oh, when you yeah. first started, excuse me, it, it's nowhere near as good as what you, you're happy to produce mm. now, modeling-wise. But there's no right or wrong. That's why I rebuilt my layout four times. Mm. And um, things like, you know, at the moment, we've got all sorts of weird combinations mm. of stuff going around. And um, I have to say that um, you know it's not right or wrong. I do like I do like things to be. I hate the word prototypical. Yeah. But I do like it to look right. I do like it to look right. Yes. But um, at the same so, time, I'm not going to go for 100 percent accuracy because I don't think realistically that's that's. So w right. would all the little Hello Kitty figures make you uh, make your eye twitch? Well, no, because I've got a little girl and she puts dinosaurs in my <laughs> organ, so that's that's perfectly fine mm. with me. And uh, Paul Murphy, thank you so much for tickling the like button. And Peter Jackson, Cheadle Heath, absolutely everyone is at different levels. Uh, Andy T seven for one says totally agree. Rule one trumps every narrow-minded opinion, and it's a bit like it's one of the reasons that I never got on with model rail clubs that I went to. You know, no, I, I, I don't want to lump all model rail no, clubs no, together. No, but um, you know, you go to them and they go, oh no, we c you can't do that. We do this or we do yeah. that, and you know, you you go go on a club night to run trains, and they're like, oh no, you can't run that on 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 the land. And they treat it, the club, as their we little petty We model feet. exclusively Bolton in 1937 on a Tuesday in May. Yeah, exactly. Nothing else will do it, and it's ridiculous. And it's like, I call them the fun police. Oh. And, you know, it's, you know, everybody has an opinion, but sometimes the best thing is to keep your opinion to yourself. Yeah. Um, but I guess what this guy did is he went and put it out as a video, and it was always going to be a hiding to nothing. Oh yeah. It was. I don't know whether he thought that it was going to be like, hey, this will be like clickbaity, and loads of people will watch it, and it'll get loads of traction. I'm from the really channel. not sure. But what, it, what it backfired. The the fact that I'm the really the channel's sure. gone. It um, was gone last night. I don't think yeah. Mark, apparently, Mark said he's done this before. Oh, what had a hissy fit and, and then just deleted it. it off. No, I don't know what to expect. You can't attack people. On a public forum, yeah. and expect good from it. You're gonna get a backlash from it, and it. Yeah. I mean, and, why would you want? To? Why yeah, would you want and that's to? it. It's like well, you do want. To, what do people gain from being nasty it. about other modelers? What do they really gain? And you know, it, it, it's it's kind of the question you always come back to. And you know, the community oh, is generally. Oh, is it turned it's back, back up? Back up now. Oh, apparently the channel's back up. Uh, None of the the offending video. The controversial videos have not reappeared. Five of the nice ones. Well, wouldn't budget that. Might Ad be Pullen nice says that J seventy looks awesome. Oh, uh, um, although uh, oh, sorry, J the J seventy looks scared. Uh, Eric Christiansen says they are called rivet counters here. Yeah, a ri um, rivet counters. I think is a is a, a universal thing. Yeah. I think everybody. Um, calls the the nitpicking kind of people, but yeah, Wardle Road absolutely. Imagine leaving negative comments though. Very sad. Uh, Alfonso La Pulsa says opinions are like bum holes. Everyone has one, but some people. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, um, it can't be denied. But yeah, um, it's. <sighs> See, I mean, would I do a video like that? No, uh, absolutely well, what would you not. Gain from it, really? Yeah, there's nothing to gain, everything to le to lose. No, it's to lose. lose and I, I don't understand why somebody would do that. It's just not nice. You wouldn't go up to somebody 
to their face and be like that to their face. Well, isn't this just it though? This is the thing with the internet and social yeah. media. There's no longer that fear of getting a slap in the face anymore, is there? Yeah, it's like this. You know I mean? It's it almost dehumanizes of course it the people does. you're talking Absolutely about. It does. And you know, I haven't met a lot of the people that I've got to know through YouTube. I just haven't ever met them. And it's it's one of the things. You know, we're sat here. And yeah, there's there's lots of comments going up, but we're, it's not like we're here with a, a an audience of, of people that no, we no, can no, no. see, and it's very easy to become detached. Yeah. And I, I guess anybody who does a YouTube channel, you've got to have in the back of your mind that you know it's especially as you get bigger, people are watching, people are listening. people are watching, and you you are you whether you like it or not, whether you like the term or not. You become influential, and if you're, um, if you you're nasty about people, if you're derogatory about people, then you know it can have quite a negative effect on that person. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and it's just it's just it's just not cricket, you know. It's not cricket, don't okay. Yeah. Um, Bull Murphy says I'd always I'll always say nice things about the Monday Club. That's ah, all right. That's all right. Um, but yeah, um, at the end of the day, life's too short to be so bothered about mm. what other people are doing that you feel that you have to go out there and badmouth them and campaign against them and say, oh, you can't do that. You've got the wrong number of rivets and that locomotive would never mm. pull that train sort of thing. And it's like, you know what? If you spent more time looking at what you were doing yeah. in your hobby, you'd have a lot more fun. Absolutely. I mean, when uh, I see Mark Wilson's photos, I end up being very, oh, very God. depressed because I'm just like, oh, I'll no. never get that level. No, I it's inspiring at the same time, but also so I'd never crushing. say. Well, I, I'm going to disagree with you. I'd never say it's depressing. I look at those, and for me, it's inspiring. It's inspiring. It's like I look Absolutely. At, it's like I look at what is possible and think, I'm going to have a go at that. Yeah, and I you, could be you half as good as and Mark, it's like happy. something we've always said about when we show videos and uh, photographs at the end of the Monday Club. You can always look at everything and go, oh, I like what they've done there. And you can always get um, little ideas and stuff. There's always potential in everything. Absolutely. Everything. And, There's you know, I've, I've been given so much inspiration from watching people's layouts of all levels uh, you know, getting ideas and stuff. Mm. I like what you've done there, sort of thing. That you know, I think it's great, and I think as a hobby, that's how we would grow. Um, and um, yeah, but that—that's my thoughts. You know, I'd never have a video where I would trash talk um, specific With a lot people. Of homophobia in there as well, and it's disgusting, vile things. that have no place in the modern. Oh, world. what in the, the video? Yeah, there's lots of disgusting things. And it's yeah, just... and it's like. <sighs> It's not just about model rail, it's just the, you're actually attacking the individual. It feels like there was more there, it, it was, it, there was more bubbling below the surface yeah. than just about model yeah, railways. Possibly a true reflection of what he's really like. Yeah. Uh, Tim's model railway in different videos says, is the TARDIS on the left? They are actually, but they're, um, I don't know if they're going to show up. There, well, if you pick them up from there... And put them somewhere where they're going to be seen. Then, um, yeah, but um, it's... I'm not, I'm not. Well, you're not going to... Well, there's no... They're not going to be hidden if you get to look on the screen well, along I'm with not, it. Oh, do I, Jim? I'm not good at this. Where's the Yes, not, you can't get the stuff. I've been can... in the seventh circle of hell for the past 120 years. What do you expect? Just give me one of them. I'll, I'll you have that one. You can have the bigger one. The yeah, yeah, one. yeah. Yeah, so what I will do... Oh, the trouble is, people can see where my hand goes. Boom, boom. Yeah. Hold on, hold on a second. I've got, a, <laughs> I've got a cunning plan, my lord. James Hardy, absolutely. At the end of the day, you cannot control other people, and it's. I always, it always mystifies me. People who get so hot and bothered about what complete strangers are doing, and it's like, well, why? You know, some people get so consumed about what other people are doing and you think well why why not concentrate on your own life we oh we've got what? billy's replacement speakers in okay oh, let me just billy 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 get to bed billy don't be a hero <laughs> uh so billy's replacement speaker says billy's replacement speakers tell that old ingrate to behave or it'll be the coal cellar and bucket of slime for him tonight 
You've never given me a bucket of slime in your life, my boy. Uh, um, James, James Hardy, I, I believe it has been deleted. Uh, well, the, the person right. who made it. Uh, Wardle Road, what was the contents of said video? Uh, Wardle Road asks. Um, it appears to have, I haven't seen it, but it appears to have been a diatribe um, specifically against a few people for yeah. nothing to do with model railways that just did seem to be there was, incredibly mean. There and was, I think it was three or four, what I would call notable YouTubers on there. Yeah. Uh, one chap that liked to run his trains on the carpet. Uh huh. Was one of them that has been attacked. All right, it's not for everyone, certainly not for me, but that's up to him. It is his railway at the end of the day. There's certainly no reason to go on camera and start. Yeah, and I think you know a lot of people do have opinions about particular YouTubers. I dare say some people have some some harsh opinions about me, but they have the good grace to keep it more more private. Well, is you know, not just it though? That you just you realise it's a private yeah, yeah, yeah. thing. You don't go spouting it around. Yeah, um, and you know, it's, I, I guess that's the way way it should be. You shouldn't use um, a public platform no. to effectively, uh, from what I've heard, go off on a well, diatribe. If you were out in the street and started saying that, you would get arrested for hate speech. Yeah, I guess so. You would if you went to Bolton Town Centre, so that's a new lot of all X, Y, and Z. What, what happened? Yeah, I think, the, I think the, the coppers would be Absolutely. along, moving you along. Absolutely, yeah. It's like, yeah. Come, come with me, sir, and uh, just make sure you don't accidentally trip and land face first in my steel yeah, toe cap boot. Have you met my bricks? <laughs> yeah, but um, hmm. I seem to have moved your cars with my car of cider. I'm terribly sorry. All oh, right, Barnabas Junction says that the channel was deleted by creator, but has since created a new channel of the same name. Yes. Yeah, and Game Hammer Classic Gaming, absolutely. You're allowed to not like things, but you shouldn't attack others. No. And, you know, it's like, I'm sure that people have an opinion on me. I know I have an opinion on on some other YouTubers, but I, I generally try and keep it to myself. Um, certainly not to go on and on about it on videos. A little bit of diplomacy goes a long way. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, I, I dare say that um, some of the big YouTubers don't like me, but they okay. do have the good grace to not go off on a, a diatribe against me. Um, but anyway, um, Twistletown, uh, Twi Twistleton Town Engage, I tend to, it's often... Hornby can't do anything wrong, fanboys who constantly hound Sam. Really not on is explained why he runs trains on his carpet. I'll be honest, you know, when I was a little kid, I used to run trains on my carpet. It's just a lot of people do. Um, if you don't have a permanent space, then that is, I suppose, the logical place. We didn't have carpets growing up. We had stone floors. Did you? Oh, right. You had to pay to we mill owner for to floors, privilege. But privilege are only trained on yeah, floor. Yeah. And he'd come yeah. home at night and he'd murdered us in cold blood. Yeah, and then we had to pay with our own money, blood, blood sweat and tears to be resurrected. And if you if you told the young generation of today about they that, they wouldn't believe you. Nah. Believe you. Uh, Gordon Hannings, yeah, absolutely. If you don't like someone's channel, then don't watch it simple. Well, that's yeah. like, no one's got a gun to your head. No one's and you know, you can, there's three little dots at the side when videos are suggested to you. You can actually go... Don't suggest this channel to me, and then that's it. You, you never Simply see him that. again. Why? Exactly. Why let it bother you, bother bother you? James Pet says I approve of the four Yorkshire. Ah, ah, James Pet's champ knows. Champion, yeah, knows. champion, yeah, champion, <laughs> yeah. Come a long way, James. Come a long way. Yeah, yeah. Andy T seven four one says not just diplomacy, Mister Loud Senior, just plain old manners. Yes. And well, Ruben Ashwell right. says I like this one. I'm going to read this out because it's. Ruben Ashwell says, you have an amazing channel, Jenny. Yes. Oh, thank you so I will actually say yes, because the Monday Club live stream it, it went a long way to inspiring me personally mm. to get a lot more involved with the Moller Railway community and, and start making more videos for my channel. Yeah. And I've still got the very first video I uploaded to my channel up there, and you can go and see it if you want. It's terrible. It's awful. Mm. It's in a bright pink bedroom, and it's just a board with a solo track on. I'm trying to make the best of it. It's awful. It's terrible. But, but everybody has to start somewhere. Absolutely, and that's why it's still up there. 
Mm. So people can go back and they can see. I yeah. didn't always have this huge, massive living room railway. And I mean, there's you know. there's videos on this channel. If um, YouTube made it harder to sort, you can't sort things no. by age anymore. No, no, no. So um, it, it's a lot harder. You have to kind of know what you're looking for. But um, there are some really old videos on there of me looking very, very sprightly and young. I've noticed that. Oh, you found them. I found the old talking the about ones. yeah, and I think there's one where there's me on the carpet running mm. trains with bending know. knees and everything with joints yeah. that don't click when you stand up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Zach Farmer says hi, Auntie Jenny and Auntie Zoe. You may oh, have is noticed that your me. nephew. Yeah, that's my oh, nephew. Hello, Zach. I didn't know that. Yeah, Zach Farmer is my nephew. So a big hello to you, Zach. And also, I should probably say. Hello, Henry and Charles. Oh, yes, no favouritism. You, hope you're behaving yourself. No <laughs> I can't see you. Otherwise, got... Uncle Billy will come get you. <laughs> have a brick through your window <laughs> quicker than you can say. Turn it to I'm 11. On a quiet Halloween night, some say you can hear the sound <laughs> of bricks being loaded into his sleigh. <laughs> David Shaw says, I don't have a permanent space. And I only have room for a diorama on one short, uh, short wall. Can you please recommend what baseboard I should use? Um, well, actually, Scale Model Scenery do some lovely baseboards. Um, I don't know. Oh, it's that modular thing, isn't it? Where, yeah, they're yeah, up, they're, yeah, up, they're, they're, they're actually they're out of shot. Um, there's there's no camera angle that will show it, yeah. but they are great for a small, easy um, to put together baseboard diorama that you can then build, build a little on. something Absolutely. on. They're very lightweight. They're very strong as well, and it's one of the things I think a lot of people don't like the idea of doing the, 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 the boring bits, the behind the scenes stuff that you have to do before you can do the fun stuff like lay track and do the scenery. Well, something like that is, is a great thing for you to cut your teeth on. Yeah. Because once you've actually built your first layout and yeah. you've gone through that process, you go, ah, oh, well, I'll do that differently next time. Yeah. And because you've not got a massive eight by four layout to rip it all down, yeah. it's just a nice modest module thing. It's easier mm. to adapt it and change it. And it's, it's a great learning. It really it's is. like railway modeling, like so many other things in life, the more you do it, the better you get at it. It's about practice. I was amazed at how many other non-railway directly related subjects I've had to learn about to do more. For example, soldering, wiring, yeah. circuitry, architecture. And it's one of the things actually. We we we. I, I know I get. <laughs> I do get accused of being like, oh, you're nothing more than a, a review channel shilling stuff for the manufacturers. But we do do. A lot of how-to videos, and if you look back, there are a lot of how-to videos. And I've shown people easy tips on soldering, making yeah. trees, making scenery, uh, weathering, um, like laying static grass, making rocks, water features. There's, there's a lot of how-to videos as well on my channel. We're not just a pretty face trying to show you all the new releases. Um, well, they mentioned this about soldering as well. I actually had to solder um, a little bit of a join on that uh, mm. legacy track I got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't know if it's because of the higher nickel content, but I found that the solder took to it much easier than the standard Co 100 Pico. It just it seemed to stick almost instantly. Oh, right. I didn't have to work it. I don't did, know if... did you use the flux? Yeah, oh, yeah. That, I, I always that... use flux anyway. But I, I, I find amazed. the flux makes all the difference. Oh, it does, absolutely. Yeah, I can make solder stick to anything. Yeah, it just seems flux. to help a lot more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More, yeah. yeah. Um, James Pett says, I approve of modular layouts. I'm planning on an N-gauge modular layout. So you may be interested in the new Rapido uh, Class 28 Metrovic uh, livery samples that have recently been shown. Um, although Don gets more of the railway, says the boring bit is the scenery. Oh, uh, no, it's quite, yeah. quite like it. If you check out my channel, plug, yeah. I've recently finished building a modular hillside which you ah. can remove so I can clean the track underneath it. And it, I enjoy doing the scenery of that because it's messy. Yeah. Eaton it's Road Heritage Centre says, just catching, I agree with others too. And it says, my railway, my rules, which handily enough. If you go to the merch store, we do have a T-shirt that says just that: "My Railway, My Rules." That it there. Uh, what's that? It's not the one that repeated or just released. No, no, no. It's the um, it's the the Kobo. Oh right, okay. Big Kobo, the Wonder Loaf. Um, Ham Shackleton though does point out, and it is absolutely true. 
I don't recommend trying to solder your skin. It does burn. I've done it before now. Yeah, yeah. Growl the Blackwood Engage layout. Good evening to you. Great to see you. And James Hardy. Yeah, the Bullied Light Pacific's running. It's, uh, it's West Country class. I can't remember which I'm one. I'm the steam action tonight. This is inspiring the me. Steam on that steam little terrier keeps running around me going, bye. It does very really well. So Warbler Productions might recognise Stepney uh, doing the rounds on the layout. I always thought it was Stephanie. No, it's Stephanie. Stephanie. No, no, no. Why would it be Stephanie? Well, why would it be Stephanie? Because it's n they're named after boroughs in um, in London. I didn't know that. Okay, fair enough. That's, that's why the, they all that's have. That's probably why, then, isn't it? They all had. No, in fact, I'll just leave it on this camera view just one moment because we'll see Stephanie going past. So you've got one called Croydon. Um, I can't remember whether there was one called Croydon, but there's definitely there's things like um, Brixton, possibly. Um, it's like Fulham, uh, Martello, um, Terry Locomotive, Earlswood, Merton, Brighton, uh, Kemp Town, Thames, Box Hill, uh, um, Sutton, Sutton, yeah, Cheam. Um, so there was loads of them. They did. They did have a Brixton one. So right, so there was a Brixton. Because I, my colleague is named Brixton. Ah. I might have to get him that as a Christmas present. Absolutely, player. people have... Oh, um, James Pett says, I believe that Croydon was actually a D1 class. So um, that there were other classes or locos that had the, the names on the side. Um, I should send that to him at work tomorrow. I think it was Hackney as well. Hackney was popular. Tulse Hill. Poplar, yes. Twistletown. Uh, I didn't know. Twistleton really Town Engage, Poplar. Fenchurch, um, so yeah, there's a lot of places. Uh, there's a, I think they, that's really, there's I've been, about genuine, 50, that's a brilliant idea. I did not know 50 that. Or, or 60 of them. I can't remember exactly how many terriers there were, but yes, there's a lot of them. Wadden now, Wadden actually is interesting because there's a forthcoming video where I try something a little bit different and uh, and uh, try and to uh, rekindle that fun. Um, I, I've in the freezer downstairs. <laughs> the deep freeze project. Yes. There, there is a Tupperware box full to the brim with water, and inside that frozen water, there is the slightly weird outline shape of Wadden, a terrier. <laughs> <laughs> I froze. I froze a terrier in a block of ice, and I'm going to see if it still works when I thaw it out. I froze a terrier in a block of ice, and I mm. it. Right, we're at Wadden, Box Hill, Surrey, Gypsy Hill, says Southern Train Girl. There quite a lot then, wasn't there? Uh, oh, interesting. James Pett says, I think the D1s were named after the outer London boroughs, and the A1s named after the inner London boroughs. Well, that would be okay if it wasn't for the fact that uh, Kemp Town and Brighton were terriers. Um, Kemp Town was in the famous Kemp Town races. Yeah. Possibly. Um, also, uh, Box Hill... Uh, as well, isn't in the centre of London. Uh, <laughs> Model Railway Fantasia says, Evening Jenny and Zoe, and who's the bouncer with sunglasses on? Hello, Mark. Hey. We've just been discussing your good friend Barry Davis. Yeah. <laughs> says William Loud Senior. Ah, he's, here, he's here to um, tell you to, to buy to take, one of his wagons. I'm here to throw bricks and take names, and I'm all out of bricks. <laughs> so somewhat like that anyway. Yeah. Oh, oh, we've got, mm -mm, we've got an incident. What's happened? It, oh, has it come off? It has. Yeah. It's oh. deceitfully gone. Oh, I see your attentions elsewhere. Ah, it's that shuttle again, look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It says, I see your attentions elsewhere. Here, let me fix that. <laughs> Was there a particular reason why back in the day they used to have a brake van at each end? Is that just to make it easier for running around? Yeah. So they, if if at some point during the journey the train had to reverse, reverse. You didn't have to mess about shunting. Yeah, the brake they didn't van. have to shunt the brake van. Oh, fair enough. I've but I've got times. so many brake vans that for me. I remember your brake van train you made. Remember that one recently. Yeah, that oh was, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I, I've got quite a few more because I've got the all new um, Batman, South Eastern and Chatham Railway ones. So, yeah, expensive brake vans. Uh, Can you see all the detail on the inside? Yeah, I can't. <laughs> it is there, apparently, but... Uh, if it's, if, if, if I'm sure if you disassemble it, you better see it. Yeah, but you see, um, that's another, that's another uh, area for debate. Detail for the sake of detail. Mm. Should we have that? Because well, it's obviously I mean. putting the price up. 
Well, if you look at the underside of a wagon, mm. for example, like for example, yeah, I can't see the, um, the underside of those wagons now. Yeah, well, actually, I don't know how detailed they are. Southeastern and Chatham Railway to the Brett. To the rescue, they well, actually, no, that's not too bad. That's reasonable. But there, there's some way you can actually see the planking and yeah. all sorts. I will say this though, Jen, in their defence, Acura Scale have just brought out their new MHA wagons, uh -huh. and they are very detailed underneath, me. and they're only 25 quid each. Ah. Well, obviously, you've got to buy a pack of three, but it just goes to show you can have detail mm -hmm. without extortionate prices. Allegedly. Yeah, well, Oxford Rail do, do quite Absolutely. well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oxford Rail, yeah. Um, and it, it's a bit like um, sprung buffers, because most, yes. most people yes. never use the sprung buffers. I actually do on some of the wagons, because I've got them close coupled. I'm going around tight bends, they actually do work. Like the wood, you know, they actually do work a little bit, and it gives you a bit of free But actually, what it, what it shows up is that um, the um, radius that we send stuff around on the model railways is actually way steeper than on yeah. The Regal Railway. Absolutely. Um, well, you wouldn't, you've not got the room for it, have you, in reality? Mm. But O-Gage, O-Gage, you yeah. Oh, excuse me, I'm a bit gassy. <laughs> O-Gage, you do use the sprung bu buffers. Yeah. But in double O, I'd say 99% of people don't. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but yeah, James Pets like sprung buffers for closer couplings. They can be useful. But, you know, when it's adding... Potential? Oh, excuse me. When it's adding potentially um, like 10, 20 pounds to the cost of a locomotive, well, this is do it. you really want to? You talk, I'm going to have to hold my breath to stop these No, I, I completely understand where you're coming from. If you can't see the detail, it doesn't add anything to the functionality of the model, and why is it there? It's a bit like the opening doors on the Hornby Club 50, uh, 31, and Class 08. Yeah, well, why? It's like most people. If I don't want the door realize to realise they'll open. cut it out myself. And why would you need it? I mean, unless you want to model someone hanging out the side. Hmm. But how hard is it to cut a little plastic door out? Hmm. Ten minutes with a really sharp scalpel and a careful scalpel, a really sharp, you know, and a bit of glue, and you've done it. And for most people, they never do that. Oh, they are in hiccups. What you need to do is hold your breath. That was doing. Hop on one leg. No. And recite the mass and arm from backwards. Read, read the thing. I'm not holding my breath <laughs> here. I wonder what you were doing. Okay, them. let's have a look at. I've got to tilt the glasses now so I can read. What are we looking at? Uh, yeah. oh, Do man. sprung buffers make the train roll back when it stops, or have a delayed action when starting? Well, no. When you look at uh, most people, still use the tension lock couplings. You really have got those hiccups. Back yeah, then. I have. <laughs> Just bear with it. And um, the buffers come nowhere. Near near each other because actually the coupling gets in the way oh, so it, actually it, it does it's nothing unless you yeah ruben ashwell hey i'm sorry i was hating james pet says boo did that help no <laughs> she's going for it here <laughs> s what's that ben davis batman you just got an s160 so have i mate i've just got an s160 as well how nice is it is it the roll call one you've got Sam, it on? that's the one i've got did Wonder you get it from DCC Concepts? Yeah, did you buy it from DCC Concepts? That's where I got mine from. Be interested in the way you got yours from. I didn't know anyone else saw it. Alfonso La Princess has squeezed your earlobes. It's not working, is it? You deflated then. Huh. Has it worked? John Walters says 007 gauge or James Bond gauge. Oh, ooh, oh it's a blooming chair. It's me, sorry, hey, it's William Loud. It's me and my creaky bones. Your creaky bottom. Your creaky bottom. Right, well, John, well, John well, Wars says well, deep well, breath well. and hold it for about 12 seconds. I think we might be there. Right, anyway, um, just looking back through the comments. Ben Davis says, hi Jennifer, what do you think we're going to get in the Backman Winter uh, announcement this Wednesday? Mm. I hope we get an S160. Um... Mm. Right, I suspect that there's going to be an announcement of something that's ready to ship. They've done that a couple of times now, yeah. and it's it's very popular. I like it. That's what they did with their thirty-seven, wasn't it? Kept it the thirty-seven. Oh, we've got the double fairly as well was yeah. another one. Yeah. Well, the southeastern and Chatham railway brake vans didn't take that long. It's a good strategy. Yeah. Um, so I suspect that there's an unannounced item. 
like pretty much ready to hit the shops. What it is, I couldn't tell you. Well, they've done the 47s, haven't they? Well, I, done there's the 37s. been... I wonder, done something with Steam. I, I wonder if it might be narrow gauge. Something like, what about mm. um, the Welsh Highland Railway Garrets? I mean, they'd be quite expensive. But they wowed the market with the double fairly, so why not take it one step further and do the uh, ex-South African Railway uh, Garrets? How likely are you, do you reckon, that Batman are to do something with TT gauge? I think uh, zero probability. Mm. I don't think Batman would spread their resources any if, thinner. If I'm honest with you, I think Hornby are going to be doing this one alone, I think. Yeah. I um, we'll see see how it goes, but I don't I I don't think that um, Backman are going to announce any no. TT. I think that there will be um, there will be an announcement of a model that's not been announced that is just ready. It'd be like basically, and by the end of this week, it'll be there in the shops that's for you good. to buy. What that is, I don't know. Um, I'd like to think actually, maybe I, I'm I'm getting I'm getting quite intrigued at the idea that somebody might tackle the narrow gauge Garrett's, but that might be a little bit too expensive. I don't know whether the market would would be able to cope with that. Um, in terms of you see, I'm normally much better at predicting reliveries. Um, Recycled. So I think maybe what about their three plank open wagon in its original Midland Railway Grey? Pre grouping is certainly much much bigger, and I do happen to know that I did submit a photograph of the prototype in Midland Railway livery to Backman, saying, "Have you thought about this?" Maybe they have. Yeah. Well, no Wednesday. Mm. Is it what is it nine o'clock? Is it we're supposed to be doing it? Nine thirty, I think. But I'm at work, so oh, unfortunately, I'm off Wednesday morning. Well, you're going to do an announcement as I, it happens. My my little phone will not cope with. Oh, you're streaming. not going to live stream it. I can't. I've tried live streaming once. It didn't work. Oh no! It was See, we could live stream from here, except I'm not going to be here. I'm going to be in Avonmouth. Right. Um, James Petz approves of pre-grouping. Ginty Steam suggests a Backman Black Five. I think mostly we're going to see um, a, uh, another production run of something that's already in the catalogue. So I think that we are going to get um, another run of the 16 ton mineral wagons with different running numbers, maybe. Yeah. Few more private owner wagons in the really colourful liveries, uh, pretty much like the ones that you're about to see on your screen. Um, I'm trying to think of a wagon that they've not released in a little while that's possibly overdue for a release. Um, in they, all they might honesty, do some more um, SECR stuff to go with the Brett brother just dropped. Well, they might do a different railway company. Now we could have something like a London, Brighton, and South Coast railway brake van. Now that really would be quite useful. It's certainly something that's not been done ready to run before. LB, uh, what? London, Brighton. London, Brighton, the South Coast Railway. LBSC. Maybe LBSCR. No. Um, I think that in terms of pre-grouping, that and a Great Central Railway brake van, maybe one of the Great Central Railway six-wheel brake vans, would certainly be interesting. Um, but I guess uh, I do worry that maybe I'm wish listing a little bit here. Um, Josh's Railway Adventure says, I did hear they will have more 158s in different liveries. David Scott says, Hi, I'm back. Welcome back. Great to see you. I hope I find you well. Um, James Bett said, It would be splendid if there were some N gauge announcements. Yeah, um, I think it just sort of get the cold shoulder, doesn't it? It does a little bit. It does a little bit. Uh, Angela Cruz also says, would be nice to see more N-Gage. DJK666 says, would TT gauge make a good narrow gauge? There's a lot of two-foot gauge layouts, so could Irish narrow gauge be possible? There was some fantastic mm. narrow gauge railways over there. Yeah, well, there's already HOM is quite popular on the continent, so basically... It represents approximately meter gauge or three foot gauge or three foot it's six. It's HOM when you get... So Isle of Man Railway. So what about... Now here's something wild for you. Um, 
What about a ready to run Isle of Man, uh, Bay of Peacock? And Is that rolling the, stuff. Um, what do you call it? Yeah, there's the little the the two four zero steam yeah, locomotives. Right, yeah. um, that's potentially quite an untapped area. But then we've also seen, and this is also in the news that we've just had it announced, the ES1 electric steeple cab locomotive that's being done as a collaboration between Hellion, the National Railway Museum, and Rails of Sheffield. And again, this is another one where um, it's been announced and it's like, and it will be in the shop uh, basically within a matter of weeks. Um, and this does seem to be more of a trend now, rather than appearing to like be bagsying things and uh, almost like a great big mm. land grab and say, oh, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. And then um, they never appear for Not years and years. I actually prefer this, like, announce, and by the way, it'll be in the shops at the end of the month. I prefer that. I know some people say that they like the time to be able to save up, and in a lot of instances, maybe try and persuade themselves that they don't need to buy it. Well, yeah. And also, I mean, if keeping the cards close to the chest, because they could see something that another manufacturer has done. Well, yeah, do something similar, and I think um, and, there's... You know, I'm not mentioning it. There's... A, a couple of things where people have seen um, something's maybe been announced Magnus. too early. Yes. Yeah. And absolutely. it's given ample opportunity for a competitor to go, oh, yeah, we're doing that, and bring one out ahead of them. I'm thinking in particular the Terrier. Now, I think personally the market supports two Terriers. Um, yeah, the Rails Daypole one is superb, but the Hornby Terrier is also pretty good. And I think that it's... Have you got a Hornby Terrier? Yeah, that's what um, Stepney, that Stepney, that's Stepney. Stepney. yeah, yeah. Um, but I've also got Rails Daypole ones, and they, they coexist very, very well. Uh, you know, they, they don't make each other look wrong. Mm. Um, so I actually think that the market will quite happily support two Terriers because they were such a long-lived and vast fleet going through so many different liveries and there's a number of liveries which have never been made available ready to run Bit of an untapped source then mm. potentially melchester model railway says i'm still waiting for the oxford rail breakdown crane it's been years now um sadly oxford rail seems to have stalled their production of new models now we got the j27 and that is an amazing model i do love the j27 um, but unfortunately, we haven't even had another production run of J27s, maybe with different running numbers. Certainly, there are a few options for different liveries that have not been done. And there was a promised J26 to follow hot on its heels, and I've heard nothing about that. Plus, we've got the, the breakdown crane was another item, and we just haven't seen it. So I don't know what's happening there with Oxford Rail. I don't know whether this is kind of... Um, they're, they're now concentrating on the model road vehicles. But um, certainly there's, there's been no news seems to have come out. Uh, Nigel Cole says, Just got home to find my Rapido LNER dynamometer car has arrived. Very nice. Uh, absolutely. And I, I know that there was the video doing the rounds about uh, the the pallet falling mm. off the back of the truck. Mm. Um, but you, know, you said at the time that the packaging well, would they actually... actually brought a video, didn't they? Yeah. And well, they opened the box. It was pretty much destroyed. The, the wagon was fine. Yeah. No and I, I said at the time... The, the packaging is designed to protect the contents. Mm. So um, what it shows is the packaging does exactly Absolutely. what it's supposed to. So, yeah, it's fine. Uh, Ham Shackleton also says, I've had the Oxford Rail Crane on pre-order ever since, too. 156 Andrew says, Jenny, sorry, going first class on Wednesday to Dundee. Ooh, that's nice. Uh, first class? I don't think I've ever travelled first class. I've never travelled on a plane. No, I don't, they're on a train. Oh, I've never travelled first class on a train either. Yeah, I've, I've not done it on the plane either. <laughs> uh, Jennifer Horton says, I feel we need a realistic tamping machine in 00, say a Plaza 07 or 08 type. The only ones appear in the past have been re-liveried European HO scale models that don't look right. Yeah. Um, the, What's the one that, that it, it actually it does that? And the, yeah, with the teams that yeah, go yeah. in and just... It, it, it does that. It yeah, does that, that. that's the, the, that's that the Placer tamping right. machine. 
Um, yeah, I did. I um, did I swap with you? A, a no, you showed me one, but I, I respectfully declined it. So I still got that tamper you somewhere. You probably have somewhere in this. Unless archive. I swapped it with somebody else. But, um, but certainly, yours wasn't the motorized one. Yours yeah, was just the, the, um, they do a motorized and an unmotorized one. Um, but yeah, they are actually the Lilliput model, so yeah. they're actually HO. Um, Kev McKay 85 says, I'm still waiting for the Backman Unknown Warrior locomotive for over the last five years. Yeah, and it's uh, one of the things that the Backman quarterly announcements were designed to do was to get away from this this sort of, um, um, you know, Sticking the flag yeah. in models, well, yeah, and then not yeah. actually doing much for years and Laying years. Laying claim to something you're never going to build. Yeah, I mean the class twenty four one was another one of those where they announced it and then it dragged and dragged and dragged. The I've VEA, I think the VEA probably goes down as a record as the longest period since first announcing, going quiet on it, and then eventually actually doing it. And it's a lovely model, but um, you know that was like 17 years if you count the first time that it was announced That's back a long in stretch. i think it was about That's 2002 when they announced that they wanted to do a vea and then it got quietly just not mentioned for yeah. years and years simon trains mother i was showcased as i've done a few first class journeys my most enjoyable one was in 2017 a hsd from london king's cross to inverness eight hours first class for 49.50 Hey, that, that's cheaper, actually, than going cattle class. It is. Yeah, yeah. Matthew M. Sellerton. Good evening to you. Welcome along. Great to see you. We've also got Jerry BVR. Hello to you. Great to see you. Um, so I'm just looking through. Women Model Railway. Um, Oxford Rail, I think, is taking a back seat since Hornby took over. Mm. Yeah, and it will be a shame, really, because the models that Oxford Rail put out are really great value, and that's what one of the things. Steam they have for, what was it, 60 quid? Was it a J? They, was well, it? they do a J27. Yeah. Uh, it was a bit more than 60 quid. It was about 80 quid. Um, but they also do an N7 um, and. Uh, oh, the Janus. Ad Adam's radial and the Dean tank and the the, the Janus. Yeah, the Janus is fifty quid, wasn't it, or fifty five? You you could out. get you could get it for as little as forty forty nine yeah. pounds fifty. For a little bit. It was a lovely model. Yeah, I've got really one up well. there somewhere. Yeah, there it is, next to the uh, class fourteen on the yes, second yes, row up. Um, and it's a lovely model. Peter Jackson Cheadle Heath asks, "Are we doing videos this evening?" Unfortunately, the cupboard monkey is ill. Um, she's just sent me a message earlier on, you may have heard my phone ding, to say that she's not feeling great and has gone for a lie down. So that may mean that we're not, but um, we will see if she re-emerges. Um, oh, it's getting warm up here, isn't it? It is warm. It's not cold outside either, really. No, and then we, we've had um, some unusually uh, mild weather. Um... Alfonso Lapulsa says, thanks for the heads up on the Tampa being HO. None of the eBay sellers mentioned that. No. It's because it's billed on the box as being double O, but it's not because it's the same model that Lilliput do in HO. Oh, Ollie's Trains Gaming says, sorry, I'm late. A Monday caller is never late, Frodo Ruggins. Nor are they early. They arrive precisely when they mean to. Thanks, Thanks Gandalf. Gandalf. Isn't his hat pointy? It is a bit pointy, yeah. yeah. You couldn't even see his lips moving. <laughs> ben Davis says, what do you think about TT scale? Hornby, Jennifer and I would not change all double O scale to TT. It's too much to change. Yeah, I and, and I, TT I scale is not on my radar. I will probably end up reviewing something because no doubt um, I'll, I'll, I'll get a review sample through Hornby at some point if they're wanting... Uh, reviewers to review stuff mm. um but i i think see the problem is as this room attests to i'm very well established in double o <laughs> yes i also so have o gauge and 009 and i personally don't feel that tt is for me that isn't saying that there's anything mm. wrong with no, tt no. it's just that as a well established double o uh, modeler um, I just don't feel a, a no. need for it but 
for new modelers coming into the market, I can see it as being quite might, an attractive might, might scale. More well, be what it's aimed for. I don't think it's going to convert yeah. people. It's, it's, I mean, no. I'm sure it's nice, but it, it, I'm like you said, like yourself. I am firmly set with double O. I can see it for one thing. Mm -hmm. I don't need small models that I can't see. Yeah, yeah. Um, and the thing is, like, if you're already modelling N gauge, why would you go to TT? Well, that's it. And if you're modelling double O. Why would you go to TT? Yeah. I see it more as being for new modelers. Yeah. Uh, or as a second, you know, you might have a second layout. Maybe yeah. you've got double O, but you've not got N. Yeah, so Worthington, might, you know. Worthington Model Railway says, I think TT is targeted at a new audience. Don't see double O or N gauge modelers changing. And yeah, Hamshackleton says, have too much double O to consider converting. Um... Although Gordon McIlroy does point out this is true, and it's well worth to dip your toe in just to see. Um, and they say if you join the TT club before the 31st of January next year, it's free to join. And Bluegrass Rail fan says TT looks interesting, but the more scales you're in, the more it divides up the train budget. That is quite mm. true. Alfonso La Pulsa says once used a Virgin First Advance from Houston to Preston. After a gig the previous night, best part was a bloke in a suit who accused me of bunking first, only for the guard to turf him out on a second pass. <laughs> oh, if you're going to challenge uh, somebody, at least make sure you've got the right ticket. <laughs> That's brilliant. Oh, that must, you must have felt so smug as the guy was frog marched smug out. Smug thing from smug. Yeah, you go, see you later. <laughs> stretch my legs out of my first class seat here. Yeah, yes. yes. So thank you, God, for removing the riff, riff raff. Raff, yes. <laughs> Get rid of the oik. Yes. Dispatch him to scum class, please. <laughs> uh, Angus's trains. Big hello to you. Long time no see. I hope you are well. Great to see you. Um, ben Davis says, "Sorry, Jennifer. I'm not the best at doing text. Don't worry about it. Don't worry." DJK triple six says, "I think Hornby says TT is aimed at new people to the hobby rather than existing modellers." I certainly have a fair amount of double O scales, so I'd rather just model in 4mm. Yeah. Swindon69 says, though, you may find as people downsize their houses as they get older that TT might be an option. Um, Gordon McIlroy says that's free entry at Margate and access to the members' club lounges. So there might actually be it's one of the things, actually. Way in there. Uh, yeah. Um, I, I I am sporadically a member of the Batman Collectors Club. I think I still am. What do you <laughs> yeah. think? I don't know when my membership runs out, but um, it gives you access to the the little VIP lounge, which right. is actually quite useful at big shows. Um, and I'm guessing that Hornby might be doing something similar for places like Wally. Well, it's a good way into it, isn't it? Um, yeah, it's just a nice somewhere to sit down in the show. I mean, you've seen how crowded that some of these shows can get. I mean, actually, mm. you've not been to Wally before, have you? No. In oh. fact, this is my this will be my first so proper a, big. You're a Wally show. virgin. I'm a model railway show virgin, really. So uh, you've, certainly on that, that sort of scale. Uh, yeah. I've been to small ones, you know, like little weekend things. I put cars for the one. I get. Right, right. But so you've not you, you've not done well. If you have not done Wally, you won't have done great electric train no, show. No, gets nothing. Oh. So this should be the first first time. So I'm really looking forward mm. to it. Uh, Ed Flame four two nine one asks: Has anyone be, has been uh, heard of the steam generator that Hornby have received samples for? I haven't actually. That went quite quiet. I didn't know but, they were uh, doing that. Yeah, no, it was a big announcement at the beginning of the year. They have shown working samples, um, but um, yeah, I, I haven't seen anything more. Um, I forgot to ask actually about that at Great Electric Trencher. Maybe at Wally we will ask. Mike at Putnam Junction says, Evening all, I have arrived when I wanted to, to save Gandalf running up the ladder. And he thanks you for it. Yeah, he's, he's, <laughs> he's full of biscuits. He's been eating all the biscuits. So he's like, oh, Gandalf thanks you. The Monday you. Clover is never late, Bruno Baggins. Yeah. Nor is he early. He arrives precisely when he means to. Thanks, William Loud. 
um, Egg Rider says, I made use of Hornby's Lounge at Gaiden. Free coffee and cookies in well, a place of... Say, and also free coffee. And, and it's free coffee. membership as well. Right, mm. so I suggest... That we all jo we all join the TT club for free for free before Wally, and then we all go and go right. We hear you have cookies, <laughs> I've heard and they'll be cookies. like, "Steady on, <laughs> steady on. We can't accommodate all of you. We've only got <laughs> we've only got a pack of Mary Lane's uh, finest." Um, Peter Jackson Cheadle Heath says, "I'm hoping to go to Wally and hopefully for two days." And that's right. William Loud Senior and myself will be at Worley. And don't forget that there is still time to pick up your advance tickets for the Worley show. And if you buy in advance, you can get earlier access, which gets you in. I think it's about an hour earlier or half an hour earlier. And certainly that is a really great way to beat the crowds. Get in and see layouts before the crowds form. And um, the other thing as well is don't forget that uh, you need to sort out your parking in advance if you're going to be parking mm -hmm. at the NEC. But it's quite possible to um, get there via train as well. So do check out that option. Even if it's coming from a local railway station where you can park perhaps That's for right. free. Yeah, and then commute on the And then commute on the train. train. Um, but certainly tickets still available, but do hurry. Um, because it is uh, definitely going to be quite busy. And what they do recommend is that Sunday does tend to be a quieter day. So if um, the crowds are something you want to try and avoid as much as possible, then it's recommended to try and get a ticket for the Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> or just basically just... <laughs> Smear poo in your underarms <laughs> and go around going, hey, oh, look at all this space around this lamb. Uh, uh, Ham Shackleton, though, does point out, though, says, get to Wally on the train, assuming they aren't on strike again. Uh, and that was something that did uh, yeah. um, afflict people at Getz. Um, Didn't that get, um, was it Dale? Dale was yeah. unable to get to yeah. Getz uh, because the rail strike. Yeah. Although, uh, Great Electric Train Show, I've never seen it so busy on the Saturday. Yeah. So the strikes didn't seem to actually affect it. And I think if the trains had been running, mm -hmm. then it would have been uh, absolute bedlam on that Saturday. Mm -hmm. uh, Worthington Model Railway is planning on buying a two-day ticket. Uh, Ruben Ashwell says, I have backup plans for if there's strikes. Uh, always good to have backup uh, plans. And also perhaps consider a car share. If there's three or four people you know all going from roughly the same area, consider car sharing because that's a great way of cutting down the cost. And as we all know, if you carpool, so you're only paying one parking, one lot of fuel, yeah. split that between you, that means plenty more for buying goodies. That's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Simon Drain's Mother Railway Showcase says, I have, have to be driven down to Milton Keynes Saturday night to get to Gets on the Sunday. Uh, we're, uh, lots of people are spotting the TARDIS in the short goods train, so absolutely it? right, absolutely right. I can't remember which one I put it in. Though. It's there. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I'll, you... I'll try and grasp it on the way back. Yes. Oh, grasp. <laughs> oh, perfect. I don't know what spot I did the TARDIS yet. I don't know where. Have you actually put it somewhere that anybody I can... Have. Yeah, but have you put it somewhere that it can be seen? Oh, just. Have you? Yes, you can. Have you? Where? Yes. I don't even know where. where. Am I... You can just oh, see it. Oh, yes. You can see it. Yeah, right. Um, Fly my channel one, absolutely. It says subscribe, hit the bell, and choose all for notifications. It's free, absolutely. Just give the notifications a watch. Keep an eye on your browser bell for more videos as I put them up. Um, also, don't forget that we've got all the merch available. And uh, if you want a My Railway, My Rules t shirt, yeah, you show them, them who's boss. Um, then that's all available in the merch store. And also, please, please, please do support the second exclusive Monday Club Wagon Commission, uh, which is the William Loud and Sons Pal Brick Wagon. And of course, William Loud Senior has visited us from beyond the grave. From beyond to, the grave. Yeah, to tell us all about this, as it is Halloween. <laughs> um, but of course, the backstory was that three of these Pal Brick Wagons were employed and put into use, lettered up for WM Loud and Sons 
uh, sorry, I said WM, it's William Loudon Sons, um, to be able to carry the bricks that were used in their ill-fated advertising campaign, where they had uh, they threw bricks through people's windows with a flyer wrapped around it, saying, buy yourself some new speakers. Uh, unfortunately, I delivered did... those bricks myself. I'm still recovering from the restraint injury. Yeah, yeah. Uh, unfortunately, it wasn't very successful. People, for some reason, didn't really appreciate the brick through a window. But you did find that the bricks made excellent ballasting weights in the bottom of the speakers for going to 11 to stop them from dancing around the living room. And it actually proved a paradigm a shift it in speaker present. technology. Absolutely in being able to go to 11 because not a lot of people know that actually taking a speaker to 11 is quite scientific 10 is easy but 10 what a lot of people don't realize is that the reason that your volume only goes to 10 on average amps and speakers is because that's kind of like the maximum that they can cope with absolutely beyond that you'll blow your speakers or your amp but what William Loudon's sons did was is they pioneered a way to get it to 11. Took a long and time to get that dial up to 11. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't just a case of... But there was an incident with um, time dilation. Yeah. The sound resonated. It was, yeah, you, you know, bored a hole jungle, through time with the speakers. And you did... There was the ill-fated premium range where they you tried to get them to go to 12. But what you actually discovered was... It's just not possible. You can't do it. You cannot do it, Captain. Have the have power. The power. Um, so, big hello to March West Junction TMD. He says, yes, you can catch a uh, bus from Birmingham Town Centre or Coventry Town Centre to get to the NEC. That is another uh, good, um, good, good idea. And Simon Train's Mother Railway Showcase says, Throwing bricks at windows. Oh, that was a, a glass act. <laughs> Valis 56 says, Marshall amps uh, actually go up to 11 nowadays. Yes, but they were all copying the original act of course. Yeah, but well, see, that was it. It's like Billy's replacement speakers were doing it from, the, uh, from the 70s, of course, because um, your son Billy um, actually worked as a roadie for Spinal Tap. He did indeed. And he was... He smell the glove top. Absolutely, because um, he actually... Uh, I actually still have the glove at home. Do, oh, I bet it stinks. It, well, it certainly put like a fine cheese. Oh, fine cheese. <laughs> but um, he, he actually had um, handcrafted the speakers that went to 11 to match with we the amplifier. We used the wood from my grandmother's coffee. Did you? We did. What did she have to say about saying, oh, I am saving not, that? Not a lot. She was dead at the time. Oh, it's a bit dark. It's Halloween. Mm. Yeah. She didn't seem to mind it. Model Railway Fantasia says, Chris Tech Dummy here. What's the with Marshall? What's Marshall? Marshall amps is a brand of amps. But you tend to see them with uh, um, what, like guitars and stuff and rock rock concerts. Uh, it's like heavy duty industrial More amplifiers. Heavy duty Marshall amps. Yeah, you know the big the big speaker stacks at rock concerts. Uh, they tend to be made by um, Marshalls. Marshall, very Um but uh, Worthington Model Railways asked, yeah, but is there a bus from Heathrow to Brum? Yes, there will be a mega bus. Um, and it may well stop at the NEC. Now, um, it may be worth checking out, but um, the mega bus might, or, or National Express, might actually stop at the NEC. Now, people have spotted the Never TARDIS. Mega, but which TARDIS? It's just just visible like the little nipple on top is oh just, mate just visible just oh well visible. it took them long enough mm. i've not spotted the other tarnish yet um i've rehidden the other one rehidden it i have have you i have well you mean moved it up by a yeah. wagon no no. <laughs> no 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 i'm gonna try and relocate this other one now but I don't all know right you, want, you want me to hide the doctor's modesty then there you go um, yeah, Jennifer Horton Marshall amps were made near Milton Keynes. And of course, the Marshall Arena Ooh. is owned by the same guy who owned the company, who also owns the MK Dons and built the stadium. So, yeah, everybody, Mark Rice as well, uh, all spotted the TARDIS by the water tower. Uh, Naive Gage asks So, did William Loud discover how to give yourself that extra push over the cliff? Hey. Hey. <laughs> Um, 
Uh, Ruben Ashwell says, I'm sure most coaches to Birmingham go to Digbeth Coach Station, but if some stop at the NEC too, then that's brilliant. Do check. Um, two major coach operators, National Express and Megabus. Um, oh, hey, that was me. Hey, careful. Oh. I've never uh, been on a Megabus before. Have you? I've been on them one, no, twice. Um, I don't really fit on Megabuses. I've got long legs. Mm. I share so, the problem. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Richard Swiderski says, TARDIS near turntable. Is it? Yeah, well, I, I you can just see it there. Yeah, oh, it's fallen over. Hey, oh, oh, look at you. That wasn't me. You did that. Yeah, oh. you could be in charge of piloting this. I'd be better at it than I am. Oh yeah. Oh dear. I'm not a good TARDIS either. Oh yeah. So yeah, um, Ian Burt says TARDIS by tank wagon, but can't quite explain. Yeah, yeah, we'll give you that. Uh, oh, Flix bus as well. Peter Jackson Cheadle he suggests. So there is a third. <laughs> Uh, good night, Clive, um, and thank you for joining us. Do take care, and hopefully uh, 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 catch you next time. Oh, interesting! Flixbus apparently took over some of the megabus. Yeah, network. that's right. They'd be the one in Preston. Ah, oh. we don't used to come past every day. We don't see it anymore, but we do see the Flexbus one now. All oh, right. Okay. Right. Uh, let's. It's a bit try. like um, Hermes, and they've now gone, but. The firm has replaced him. I think it's UV or something, is it? Or... Every. Every. Yeah. I think it's just a trading name for Hermes. Yeah. Uh, it is still Hermes. They're just <laughs> trying to rebranded hide. <laughs> to get away from the drop kick into your neighbour's pond over your head. That wasn't us, that was a separate firm. Big hello to J94 as well. Great to see you in. Um, I think you were in before, but I, I may have not mentioned. But uh, Ollie's Trains Gaming says, I'm off. See you. You take care. It's been great having your company. Of course, it is a school night. March West Junction TMD says, I will be operating Margate Warren on the Saturday. Make sure you pop over and say hello. Hello. Uh, hello. But we're going to be there. Actually, we're there on on, um, uh, on uh, uh, t two, two days. So we're there on the Saturday and the Sunday. Uh, staying, over, staying over in a hotel. It's well posh, isn't it? Um, I don't know. I've not seen it yet. <laughs> Hopefully it is. Yeah. I have high standards. Do you? I have do, you, do, you do you stay in hotel to lot? Um, I've stayed in approximately 15 hotels in my entire lifetime. Have you? Yes. Uh, what were they like? Hotel rooms. Very small. Um, the very first time I stopped in a, in a modern <laughs> hotel room. Do they have bars room. on the windows? But yeah, so one of them did. <laughs> a door um, that locked from the yeah, outside. I don't have much chance to go to the bathroom. Um, but the first time I stayed in what you might call a modern hotel, I was baffled because I couldn't get the lights to turn on. I didn't know you had to put the little card in the slot in the wall ah, to get another So the you spent the entire night in the dark? No, I, I rang the head office, head office, the, um, what you <laughs> know, the head desk, and I said, I'm sorry, but the power's not working. She said, oh, put your card in the wall. Went, what do you mean? She went, look at the wall. <laughs> oh, right. But well, no one told me. But they just assumed that I, I knew what to do with it. <laughs> So there, that was a bit of egg on first moment there, but there we are. <laughs> but the nice thing about uh, hotel rooms is the breakfast in the morning. The unlimited breakfast. Worthington Model Railway asks, what are good hotel options near the NEC? Well, there's um, there's the Premier Inn. There's also a Hilton. But be warned, that'll be expensive. And there's a travel lodge um, a little way away. There's actually a little B&B as well, I spotted on, on Google. No, uh, but I uh, don't know what it's like. Um, Could you take a tent with you? Cook up. What? Bivouac down in the car park. <laughs> yeah. Twistleton Town Engage says, Jenny, are you and his lordship going to, going to be on a particular stand? That's as many as possible. Who is his lordship? Yeah, I think that's you. Is that me? I like that. I that's do you. like that. You're the, well, we've got the cupboard monkey and you're his lordship. Because you're William Lau. I do like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Robert Steers, MD, uh, says, better late than never. Greetings from Montana. Good evening to you. I wonder if clubbers then? never late for the wagons, nor are they early. They arrive precisely when they aim to. That Thanks, Gandalf. Gandalf. Sorry, Gandalf Seal, so I've got to step um, in. Are we going to be at a specific stand? Oh, um, no, no, we're free agents. Skipsy Train says, crikey. 
I virtually live in blooming hotels. Ironically, this week is the exception as I have taken the week off. Um, it's not half of the service at the place you're staying at the minute, though, are you, mate? That's the problem. <laughs> It doesn't much like the lady on the front desk. <laughs> <laughs> White Wall Wheels won Hardcore MOH. It says, uh, oh, Jenny's left hand side trying to hide behind a lamp. Jenny's left hand side trying to. Oh, what there? Ooh. Oh, yes. Um, just, just got it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Worthington Mullerow says, You sound like Ray Allen. Uh, I'm trying to work out actually where the other. What? Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, look at. Oh, you're doing a cupboard monkey. <laughs> it's all going horribly wrong, isn't it? So, whilst you do that, I'm going to just like dust the locomotive and then pretend that's what I always meant to do. Dust so, the oh, it's dusty. Is it dusty? If it's dusty. So there we go. Um, soft, wide bristle paintbrush. Very, very good for getting the dust off your models. Have you finished breaking it? Something like that. Have you? So, um, whilst William Loud throws a brick at the train. There we go, I've finished. Okay, well, I'm going to put this on here. And then, what were you trying to do? That. Oh, okay. Right. Um, Melchester Model Railway says, That impression of Zoe doing an impression of Gandalf is slightly disturbing. What she means? Uh, yeah. So I don't. Oh, I think people can see. Yeah. Um. Well, we'll see if anybody spots the TARDIS. Um. One thing I will warn about the hotel. Oh, there we are. Richard Swiderski. TARDIS next to signal box. Absolutely. Oh. So that's well They're spotted. On it tonight, yeah. 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 They are. There's. There's no They're flies on, on these guys. Um. Ian Parker asks, who's William Loud? William Loud is uh, is William Loud Senior is the dad, uh, actually no, he's the grandfather of Billy. Billy's replacement speakers. That's right. Billy is William Loud Junior. So um, I, don't, I don't know who the guy in between is. I've got to work out the timeline at That's some our gym. point. We don't talk about our gym. Our gym. Our gym. Uh, Jim Loud. He's a bit of a rum. Is he? A <laughs> bit of a rum and coke. JD 1533 Workshop. Hello from Queens, New York. A big hello to you. Hello, Great Queens, to have you in. Um, Southern Train Girl as well. Lots of people have spotted the TARDIS. Which one? That one over by the signal box. Oh, they've got to move it again. Um, TARDIS laying down in short goods train. Oh, yes. oh, you thought you could get away with slipping it back where it was before. Um, I give up. I don't know where else I can put this now. But yeah, anyway, William Loud is like he's, he's here to, to tell you all about the exclusive Monday Club Wagons, the William Loud and Sons Pal Bricks uh, that are available to order. You'll find a link down below. There was originally three of them made. Yeah. Billy's to transport my bricks. Billy's replacement speaker says, don't call me Junior. <laughs> so, well, we can hardly call you Indiana. That was the name of the dog. Indiana Jones. <laughs> yeah. Um, right. <laughs> Mark suggests we need a Jenny Kirk wiki wiki for all this law. Um, Ian Parker asks, what's his profession? William Loud is a speaker manufacturer. He makes speakers that can go to 11. Hence Billy's replacement speakers. But not 12. 12 is no, where madness yeah, tw tw yeah, 12 is too much. There is there is no speaker on this earth that can handle 12. There's too much pleasure in 12. Yeah, um, you know you're on camera over there. I do know I'm on camera over there. Right. So I'm just waiting for my moment to grasp the, to to, rescue to grasp, the, grasp the, the nettle. Without destroying it again. Yeah, um, 156 Andrew asks, William Loud, are you Scottish? This is like 50 questions, isn't it? Are you, are you, uh, are you, uh, um, <laughs> are you animal or mineral? Uh, vegetable. Vegetable. Oh, good grief. What do you... What, what do you... Trying to get the tattoos. Would you like me to do... Here, let me... Look at that. Look, I'll even just use two fingers. And derail the wagon. Yeah, but yeah. I, I intended to do okay, that. Okay, that's good, isn't it? Because that's what happened. That's what you did before, isn't it? There's no point saying who did what to who and when. Yeah, it's not <laughs> what you know. It's who you can prove. <laughs> 
Mark says, my wife loves the Hello Kitty figures. She has two tattoos of her. I really like the... <laughs> it, it's, um, there's a Hello Kitty AK-47. You can Google it and it's just fabulous. Rata tat tat. It's go. like you look at it, it's like there's no way you can if you fired it it would it would just burn that that pink off the barrel, but it just it looks such it's such a juxtaposition and that's a good word everybody let's write that Put down that juxtaposition Wait, well, yeah we need to use that more often in regular uh, regular conversation now this is controversial William Loud oh dear it says Alfonso La Pulsa says why not just make ten louder well that's just madness. But surely, because these go up to 11. Can I just say, if, if you just make 10 louder, surely then you made 10, 11. And well, you have absolutely. to recalibrate have to recalibrate the rest it the and then, yeah, then and numbers then, are not cheap to produce, you know. Yeah, yeah, there's, there's like... there's like Numbers art- don't grow on trees. No, no, there's like artisans out in a bijou uh, workshop somewhere who have to hand carve every single one. Both sides. <laughs> yeah, Ruben Ashville. Hello Kitty AK forty seven. You yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, naive gauge goes, but Alfonso La Pulse, but eleven is one louder. <laughs> Al's Yard says, is there an estimate release date for the William Loudon Sons Wagon? Currently we're being told They will arrive uh, precisely when they mean to. Yeah, um that we're being told sort of January next year. Um, oh, so absolutely. hopefully that that's going to be the delivery, um, and they will be arriving at the same time as the main range ones. So if you've ordered the triple packs of either the original condition or the later rebuilt condition PAL bricks from KR Models, they're coming at exactly the same time. Um, Ian Parker says I got a Hello Kitty cushion from the Philippines. Uh, I, I like Hello point. Kitty. I must admit, I, I really do like Hello Kitty. Um, that works. Oh, oh, Billy's replacement speakers as well says, taking it to 11 also ge- gave higher resolution. Well, this is it, but you... That's why Billy was your speaker specialist. He was. Yeah. It, was all, it, it, tended, it tended to dribble a little bit, but it was always a good one when it came to things like that. Worthington Model Railway, though, controversially says my amplifier doesn't have any numbers, so I believe it is louder than it a doesn't level. have any numbers, technically. It doesn't go up to anything, does it? It's just yeah, stuck it, in limbo. It's yeah, it, it's sort of somewhere between zero and one. Absolutely. <laughs> Pre-decimalisation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can yeah. change the camera if you like. I have moved the um, TARDISES. Oh, Ham Shackleton says William should employ Nicky. After all, he's... Louder, Nicky Louder. Who? Nicky Louder. I don't know Nicky Louder. Oh my word! Famous uh, Formula One driver and rally driver. Oh, I'm not into Formula One, you see. The reception down there is terrible. Ben Tullett says, I found out what KR models are planning as their next model, but I shall not tell. Good, good. That's if you ever find out what a manufacturer is doing for um, a future model, don't announce it before them. Uh, oh. Because that that's it's like a bit rude, um, but um, that's also a problem. I would assume liable, isn't it? I would have thought. Well, yeah, I don't know if you're not if you've not been asked to sign a, a non-disclosure agreement, then I mean, there's not really anything they can do. Mm. But it's just it's like it's nah, a little bit rude. Um, I mean, I know, I know what it is as well. Um, I know what a few other manufacturers have in the pipeline, um, and actually, I mean, it's one of these things. I had this debate with somebody. Personally, I'd rather not know because it's not knowledge you can do anything with. It's a bit like opening your Christmas presents early, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, you can't tell anybody you have. Mm. So you've got to then pretend it was you a haven't. surprise. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Um, and um, if you know, it then becomes... You're constantly worried, what happens if I let it split, slip yeah. out? So I always say to the manufacturers, look, please just don't tell me. It's what just easier that way. What was the old saying? Loose lips cost lives. Loose lips sink ships. That's it. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Um, Mark, yes, I've seen the, the Shay on Ken Patterson's What Neat This Week. And of course, big hello to everybody from the What's Neat This Week Ken Patterson uh, posse. It's great to see you. And um, do, do tell Ken that I said hello. <laughs> I'm sure he watches as well. 
And uh, Jennifer Horton says, just Googled the Hello Kitty AK-47. There are now other examples and a Hello Kitty chainsaw. <laughs> Boom. Yes. That's what I need in my life. For oh, all the things that need for Yeah, that, that's, that's what your small daughter needs. Hello Kitty chainsaw. I don't know. I'm Googling that. Yeah, right yeah, now. yeah. That is like... Um, Hello <laughs> Ah, uh, right. Uh, Alfonso Lapulsa says, also, you may have been given Duff Chen. Yeah, um, that's the other thing, <laughs> is that well. you don't know whether they're just pulling your chain as well. <laughs> oh, oh, that is... Come yeah, on, let's have a look. look. Let's have a look. Hello Kitty Chainsaw, a must for the handy serial killer. Lovely. Oh, that is like... Dead pool of some someone. He would. I do like the, the AK-47, though. Oh, the AK-47. That, that is yeah, class. Absolutely, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> Hot Dog Pilot 63 says, got one on order. Is that is that the chainsaw? <laughs> or the AK-47? Oh, right. Benton says, they had the Shea on display at Gaiden. Lovely model looker. It is. And we have exclusively oh, reviewed the, um, uh, the world. Hello Kitty Bullet Train. Hello Kitty Bullet Train. Oh, that's, um, yeah, that's a lot of pink. Uh, Robert Steers MD says Hello Kitty paintball rifle. Ooh, yeah. I, I I like Hello Kitty. I think there should be a Hello Kitty box car. The thing is that you'd have to get all sorts of permissions to it to produce that. Mm. Um, Ian Parker said Dad said only two persons in the loft because of the weight. Oh, we're screwed. <laughs> the ceiling uh, started to crack. Yeah. yeah. There's a Hello Kitty N scale bullet train from Japan, says Mark. Oh, I do like that. Um, Flymo Chem One says it sounds like something out of a gorilla's video. <laughs> but um, yeah, uh, the 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 Shay does look really really nice. I I do like that, and uh, I am looking forward to the production releases of those and um, certainly um, it's an amazing model. Um, I had the privilege of being able to review the pre-production model, albeit it had been um, extensively run to death. So it wasn't in the best of condition. Also <laughs> well very used. well, uh, yeah, well also used. well traveled. It had been from mm. China to Canada, to China, to Canada, to the UK, to Canada, to the UK. And it was it was starting to. It's been everywhere. As they say, it's not the age; it's the mileage. Um, Valley's fifty six XX says I had an email to say my care Stuart was posted today, and of course, as we mentioned last week, the care Stuart Victory class locomotives, including the exclusive rails of Sheffield version, are all now being posted out, and they do look really really fine. And hopefully. Uh, we're going to be doing a review on the Victory Class here on this channel, so watch this space. Um, also, looking forward to, and um, mm. this will hopefully be an exclusive, a YouTuber exclusive, that the ES1, that Rails, um, Locomotion Models, and Hellion have produced, we will be doing a review of the um, the um, production samples on this channel before they actually arrive in the shops. Mm. So don't say you don't get it first anywhere else. Um, Peter Jackson Cheadle Heath uh, says the NRMA show on at Crew this weekend, the fifth and sixth of November. Um, Not the old American stuff in the Mar uh, It's the National um, Model Association. Well, NMRA is the National Model Railroad Association, but I don't know whether the NRMA is a typo or something else. Yeah. Um, <laughs> naive gauge. That is good advice in all walks of life. You need to use incognito mode whenever you do Google searches <laughs> like that. Yeah. Oh, what's he found? Yeah. Oh. Flymo Chairman One suggests perhaps a browser dump might be required. Oh dear mate. Yeah, just Google and Amazon will now try and sell you everything Hello Kitty from now to the year dot. So just yeah, you're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> so um uh Ian Parker asks, What is the best speaker to go in a class fifty six? One of my speakers. One of my Billy's speakers. 
a Billy's replacement a Billy's speaker. speaker. But um, I don't know. There's a lot of good speakers on the it market. Depends on the, on the side. We had this conversation before, didn't mm, we? A, mm. a good speaker can really transform how a local sounds. It really absolutely, can. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, I would suggest talking to a DCC sound specialist to see what they recommend. Um, but what I do know is that you need to make sure that the impedance of the speaker matches the decoder. Yes, if Otherwise, I you can... the, T the TTS decoders, they must have a certain, is it OHMs, ohms? It's like four four yeah. ohms or Similar, something. If, if it's eight, it'll crackle, it, it'll sound awful, so you must get that right. Yeah, yeah. So um, the, there is a bit of a science involved, and I, and I don't want to pretend that I know what I'm talking about, so I would say go to a DCC specialist, somebody like Digitrains, um, or roads and rails, and well, just have a roads chat. and rails YouTube channel has actually got loads of comparison videos up anyway. All right, it's the same sound file came through six or so different speakers. All right, back to back, mm. so you can hear the difference there. And then, then oh, that's good. It's really good, it's handy. Mm. But then you just re you really do hear how how naff the, the stock speakers sound. Mm. <laughs> it uses the stock speaker as well, of course. So. The, the stock Hornby speaker is, well, there's two different ones. There's like the long oblong and one, which one. you get with the, certainly I think it was with the class 20 yeah. and possibly with the class 37. Yeah, the 37. Got a, um, got and that's actually not one. too bad. But the little round one yeah. can be hit and miss. Um, but I have got the TTS class 20 uh, uh, somewhere with with the Hornby standard speaker, and actually it sounds blooming good. Mm. Um, some of the T, I always say, some of the TTS uh, sound decoders are really great value for money. The Class 20 is definitely one that I would always go for that before even considering going for um, any of the more expensive ones. Mm. Um, That's what I did. We should dip your toe in. See yeah, the class, the class like 08 shunter as well is another good one. Uh, I retrofitted mine, but yeah. Mm. My, my 08's got a little uh, TTS chip in there. Oh, uh, Worthington Model Row says, Hornby have moulded a speaker holder for a, sub a, a sugar cube in the new 9Fs. It's very effective. Oh. Big hello to the closet branch. Great to see you. I hope I find you well. And uh, welcome to uh, uh, welcome to the stream. Um, Billy's replacement speaker suggests you need ones that fit. Eight ohms it is for a Hornby TTS. Uh, ah, right. It is the NMRA. Uh, the Angel of Crew has said uh, it's National Model Railroad Association, the NMRA. So it would have been a typo. Ah, oh, right. Mm -hmm. Hermitage Road suggests that um, using iPhone speakers. I've had mixed results with them. Yeah, you have to double them up, really. Yeah, because they only they're only four ohm, aren't they? Yeah. So you need two together. Um, so there's a, if you know what you're doing, it's it's, it's good, but you you need to really seek guidance. Yeah, if you get in the, the first right, wiring them up is easy. Yeah, it's just a bit of it's two wires, and because of how speakers work, there's no left or right. As long as one wire goes to one tab, one wire goes to the other, they'll still work. Yeah, because so, um, it's it's basically like an AC. Current. Yeah, essentially, yeah. So as long as you get that right, they'll, they'll yeah, work yeah, really yeah. Well. And of course, space inside the model. Mm. You got to have space for them. Tony Wright asks, Jenny, what is your opinion of the Backman LMS 50 foot inspection saloon? I think it's a great coach. Um, it's quite expensive now. Uh, we can't really avoid that. Um, but you can still pick them up second hand at a really great price. Um, and it is a great model. Um, I've got one in blue grey, which I picked up second hand. Uh, and I'm very, very pleased with it. And I will continue to look out for the intercity liveried one, should one turn up second hand at a great price. Um, buying them new, full price, I guess, if it's a must have item, then it's well worth the money. Mm. But they are quite expensive. Um, so do just bear that in mind. But that, they are a good model. Do you have any of them? What, Batman's? The Batman LMS inspection Not sleeve. yet, but I, I imagine if I'm doing this steam railway thing, I'll be getting something like that what, at mm -hmm. some point. Right, uh, Flymo Chairman 1 says, I got speakers out of an old monitor. 
but they're 2.5 watts, 8 ohms, a bit much for a sound fitting, <laughs> I can imagine. <laughs> Crossways Point trailer. Junction Model Railway says, Good evening, everyone, everybody in the chat. Hello, Jenny. I hope you're doing well. Sorry I'm late. Been very busy. A Monday Clover is never late, Frodo Baggins, nor are they early. They arrive precisely when they mean to. Thanks, Thanks Gandalf. Gandalf. Um, it sounded a bit muffled because he had his head in a bag of biscuits. Absolutely. Well, he's still Licking the biscuits. crumbs from the bottom. He's a Kit Kat bandit. Yeah, a Kit Kat bandit. A Kit Kat bandit. <laughs> Do you turn up in the night and take all your Kit Kats? <laughs> ah, um, Has anyone ever had a Kit Kat bar where it's just all chocolate in one of them? I we have. had this conversation before. Yeah. I've had I half th- of one. I think that they should actually sell them because they're, they're, they're just incredible. But isn't wouldn't a single a single Kit Kat finger full of chocolate just be like a Yorkie bar, a very thin Yorkie bar? Yes, it's basically a different shaped Yorkie bar. <laughs> it's like thank you for taking the magic oh, away I'm from sorry. me. Sorry, yeah, I've yeah. ruined it for everyone. Flymo Chairman One says Gandalf's been on the wine gums. Tony Wright says thank you, Jenny, for the info. Absolutely welcome. Uh, Jerry BVR says, uh, the DMU is very tempting, but my wallet is whimpering in a mm. corner already. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, my word, yeah. Um, Naive Gage says, were inspection saloons pushed or pulled? I believe both. Weren't the inspection saloons just used for a bit of an excuse for a, a bit of a jolly? To go for yeah, a, uh, also uh, route learning yeah. and that sort of thing. Human City Junction says, I made it on time today. Hello, Monday citizens. Hello, Jenny. <laughs> Hello to you. Monday. Not now, Gandalf. Okay. They're on time. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Hot dog pilot 62 said, have a break. Have a quick crap. <laughs> 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 uh, Nick at Bletchton High oh, Level says, I approve of Kit Kats. Oh, they're all right. Um, right. Uh, David, it's my mother always says, those speakers don't have polarity, they do have phase, so wiring two differently, one will go in while the other goes out. Yeah. There is that, so you kind of want That'll to wire them, sequence. yeah, so yeah. that they'll both go out at the same, That's you, right, you yeah. want two outies, not an outie and an e, yeah. innie, or two innies. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Yeah. they all have to be uniform across the two or three speakers. Oh, interesting, Worthington Mother Railway says, Kit Kats here in the US are not as good as UK chocolate. Is it different? Oh, I never thought of that. American chocolate is not very nice. And Ham Shackleton says, you often see inspection coach Caroline being pushed by a 37. I've never seen that. I've seen, yeah. pulled, I've seen a pulley being pulled by a 37. In fact, that one at York did that recently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was yeah, a yeah. York but I've never seen mm. it pushed. Well, look, we're coming up to the end of the show, so... This is the end, the end, my only friend, the <laughs> end. Copper hatch, right? <laughs> Here we go. Hey, what are you like, William Lau? I won't listen. I haven't yeah. had a chance to sing much down there. Uh, unfortunately, Michael Arkell, we're not doing any pictures and videos today, because the cupboard monkey, who is our techno weenie, um, is gone for a lie down. Um, so unfortunately we're not going to be able to, but we will try and catch up next weekend. Is that the Acura Scale Delta? Uh, that, that's an Acura Scale Delta. Yeah, we stop stroking it. You can't have it. Ah. Put in the comments, should Jenny donate her no, spare Delta as a, as a long-term not, loan project for it's, me? It's not spare. It's not spare. Uh, Ham Shackleton says, repent, the end is nigh. <laughs> uh, oh, Worthington Mother Railway says, my wife bought me some lemon Kit Kats. Disgusting. Never, never <laughs> Disgusting. Had, never had Apparently them. in Japan they have some disgraceful flavour for Kit Kats. Yeah, like wasabi. Wasabi and mustard and, and oh. lychee, lychee flavoured Kit Kats. I like the, the mint ones are nice and the orange ones are mint nice. Mint and chocolate for me go to all very together. Are they? Go to all very together, go to get, they, go together they, they, very well. Al's Yard says, I think Hornby's decision to go for TT scale and not N-Gage is quite odd from a business perspective. Um, yeah, yeah I, they've clearly got a plan. Uh, Al's Yard says, I understand the point of getting new people into the hobby, but if they went for N, they could have used old tooling scaled down 
since the older models had lower fidelity. Why are we not doing it at all? They used to, but they're, oh. they're under the Arnold brand, but oh. not anymore. Right. Jennifer Horton, though, warns that Caroline, this is going back to the inspection saloons, Caroline isn't a normal inspection saloon. It is fitted with driving controls like a DBSO that oh. works off Blue Star 27 way, so compatible with the Class 37. So would that be a bit like an auto coach thing then? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> Richard Swiderski suggests that I need to check Mr. Loud's pockets when he leaves. <laughs> He's like, there seems to be a little oily patch where there used to be a Deltic and Mercedes. I'm just going to do a crude drawing of it and prop it up against. Yes. That 47 there, it's, it's yeah. fine, it's well, fine. There seems to be a crude drawing of a penis where my Delta <laughs> used to be. Oh dear. Uh, <laughs> That's shocking. Billy's replacement speaker says, Use your bricks, Will, and bring home the Delta. <laughs> and DJK666 is Japan has green tea flavour. I never yes. got on with green tea flavour. No, I did get a green tea liqueur and it was revolting. Green tea to me is more like a punishment than oh, to be enjoyed. Alfonso La Pulsa says, Little were doing wasabi ice cream a while back. It was oh. interesting. That sounds like a polite way so of you saying... you go and get yourself a nice big, nice oh. bowl of delicious strawberry or vanilla ice cream. And mm. dump a big old spoonful of mustard into it. Oh, that's also interesting. Twistletown N uh, Twistleton Town N Gage says Kit Kats and all English chocolate in South Africa taste different too, because of different preservatives, etc. Because of the heat, stops it melting as easily, but changes the taste. I never thought of that. I imagine they'll taste a bit waxy. Mm. Human City Junction says Jennifer, who are you dressed up for Halloween? I do not recognise the costume. I am dressed up as a grumpy Jennifer Kirk. <laughs> a Jennifer Kirk has been awake for almost 24 hours. Yeah, so. I've been up since half midnight. So as you, uh, if I sound a bit spaced, it's because I am. Yeah. Um, but just a quick recap in the news. So we've had announced the ES1 from Rails of Sheffield in partnership with Hellion and Locomotion Models. That's the NRM. ES1, of course, was one of two locomotives that were built for electrifying the Newcastle Quayside branch. This was a steeply uh, graded, I think it's about 1 in 27 in places, curved line that ran through a number of tunnels and certainly in steam days was absolutely difficult to uh, work with steam locomotives because the fumes didn't really clear from the tunnels so the crews didn't really like it. The electric locomotives provided a means to get away from this. Very, very successful. And ES1 survives, is preserved as part of the national collection. And actually ES2, which was the sister locomotive, uh, comparatively recently, I think 2013, um, flame cut panels from her cab were rediscovered in a pub um, tucked away behind a <laughs> fence. Of all that places. Was Tucked away behind a fence that was being demolished. Talk about, I know a bloke down a pub that can get you one of them. Well, it's yeah. like nobody quite knows how they ended up there or why, That's but strange. they're in remarkably good condition, all things considered. Um, but that is ready, it's is on the high seas and should be available within a few weeks. We will be having an exclusive early review here. Well, it's a YouTuber exclusive here on the channel of the production samples of that model. The uh, Care Stewart uh, Victory class from Planet Industrials is also shipping. If you've ordered one of those, they should be with you shortly, if indeed they haven't already reached you. And that includes the Rail Operations Division version that is also an exclusive for Rails of Sheffield. We've also seen the livery samples of the Rapido Trains Class 28, uh, which is the Metrovic Kobo. And this includes the really quite eye-catching RTC uh, red and blue livery, which is a what-if livery, but certainly really does suit the locomotive. Also, don't forget that there is still time to buy your advance tickets for the Wally Model Railway Show, which will be held at the NEC in the last weekend in November. Um, but do please, please, please uh, remember that parking you need to actually pay for in advance, otherwise it's very, very expensive on the day. It's well worth, if you can, arrive by train 
or carpool with somebody else. And I would suggest if you're thinking of staying over in a hotel, book it sooner rather than later because those hotels are getting booked up pretty quick. And certainly when, 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 as well. yeah, when we booked, what was it, about 120 quid a room? About that, yeah. So, you, yeah, 120 quid a room, unless you want to bunk up with a mate I just, I and thought share a room. The ROD locomotives. Yeah. I always thought that's a railway of defence. No, it's the Rail <laughs> Operations <laughs> Division. But anyway, um, thank you, everybody, for joining us tonight. It's been great having your company. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And do check out the merchandise in the little box um, down below. Follow the link to the website and get yourself an amazing T-shirt or hoodie or mug. Uh, well worth it. The uh, William Loudon Sons Pal Brick will be arriving. We're hoping in January. Do get those orders in again. The link down below, order with confidence through Rails of Sheffield. But until next time, from me, Jenny Kirk, and from our magical mystery Halloween guest, William Loud Senior, you guys take great care of yourself. Happy modelling. Bye for now. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye. The next train departing is going wherever you want it to, because we can't be bothered. The Ponty West Coast, 2022. Hey, what the hell was that? <laughs> that was a <laughs> No, it was Oh, for God's sake. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Putting the extractor fan on. You used to bring Tomasa Ferguson, did you? Oh, gee, oh, what, cider. Oh, I didn't what, warn you. What crawled in you and died? <laughs> cider. Oh. Um. <laughs> yes, Valley's 56XX. The answer is Daypol. <laughs> you win your prize. Go go and sharpen the pencils. Go to the top <laughs> of the class. <laughs> Reading joke? Didn't you watch the other week? No. Uh, uh, well, you know, what do you mean, no? Which one? Oh, uh, well, I did watch, but I just did that. I did watch Oh, it. Jesus. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, I only fed you a bacon sandwich. Oh, that is rank. <laughs> oh, I. T oh, I t that seat's done for. That's moist. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've. I think I've. <laughs> It? Hot Dog Pilot 63, William Loud Senior. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 strike a light. I would It's an enclosed area. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, you didn't open the bag. Just the sounds of Jenny dying, pay it no mind. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put a cork in it next time. <laughs> I move wrong. Take care everyone. Good night. Bye-bye.